or with headphones. Okay, let's go back this way. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, it's got tracking! Oh, it's got tracking! That's rude. Oh, and it's got a shield? No, wait, I can do no damage to it. What? What? What is this? I'm perplexed. Oh, I I have to hit the ball? I'm playing tennis. I have to play tennis with it. Oh, that's funny as fuck. I, I have to play tennis. That's great. No, the regular attack was doing it. Oh, boys. You, you picked the wrong time there. Funnily enough, grenades don't care about grazing hits. So, uh, that works. Uh, wow, in fact, you could do that a second time. Can he really do that a second time? How many of those has he got left? Three. Fuck it. Totally worth it. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a war crime. <laughs> I don't know, that's just, that's just hit me funny. I don't know why. Why throw one gas grenade when you can throw two? Oh. Uh, okay, this is a... Oh, he's... Okay, he's got a shield, but that's fine. I've I've got I've got tentacles. Hello, sir. Can I introduce you to our Lord and Savior? Oops. He's not dead. Fair play. He's very not dead, actually. Oh God. Oh, I have to fight him in this room. Okay, luckily he's not. Oh, hang on. I had to hack my out the door. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Now he's dead. Oh! Oh my god! I hit him so hard, his... his... Oh dear. Be careful with your tentacles, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise this could happen to you too. I marked it just up the road. Alright. Oh, that's a... that's an entire... Convo, not convo, oh, but that yep, that's, a, that's a that's a that's a bossy. Yep. Shall I start mini gunning? Uh, you want to start mini gunning? I can. Oh, I can't. oh that was me! Sorry, I deployed my drone and it killed the helicopter. I forget he threw it up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. That's entirely on me. <laughs> <laughs> Any landing that you walk away from, I guess. In Honestly. The bloody names of some of these systems are amazing. And the fact there's no hope for me to actually pronounce them. What was that noise? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, is that like hello in rock person? What the fuck was that? <laughs> that sounded like the start of a Disney movie or something. What the hell? Uh, form non aggression pact. Okay, so the Bin Penchan really like us. I mean, what? Come on. Holy shit, time to go. <laughs> Where, where am I extracting to honor? Because I need, I need. Oh, oh god, everything's exploding. Tremors detected. Well, yeah, no shit. We just introduced a black hole into the middle of the planet. How do we get out of here? Okay, we're going that way. Oh my god, there's fucking shriekers! Are you fucking kidding me? What? This is level one. We're not supposed to have shriekers. What the actual Christmas fuck? That's not right! <laughs> oh my god. Who 
throw a silly idea was this? Fuck me. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, hmm. He should not survive that. This enemy soldier is pinned down. Hello. Oh, I shot that guy instead. Oh, he broke my Overwatch. That's rude. A hundred and four? I'm gonna make it. Tell my agent. Release the nudes. A hundred and four? What the actual fuck? Well, uh, who's got the next best uh, skill other than Fox? Because she's the one that... Well, that's... that was... that was not ideal. That was not ideal. Oh, uh... Uh... Nope, no angle. Right. Let's just, uh, park just, just park road. in front of it. Yeah, that works too. Oh, I nearly just minigunned a village by accident. That would have been I mean, there. the village is shooting at us. Well, that's true. Oh, piss. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! What the fuck is happening? That <laughs> 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 ambulance was stopping for no one! Hot damn. I didn't realise it was that close, actually. I didn't realise the physics was on its side. What on earth? It had the mass advantage. It really did. What the actual? That shouldn't have <laughs> happened. Oh well. Points for it's effort. Like a helicopter. Uh, yeah, we have to. We have to just um, uh, talk about dismantling them because we're. I decided I don't like being a religious person. It's it's not fun. Our uh, presence in the galaxy has not gone by. On oh, the they have a little heart. Oh no! Are these nice people? They might be nice people. No, look, their 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 symbol is a little heart. <laughs> they might be nice robots. Um, we are the melodic hub. Not be alarmed by our non-organic nature. We are fully sapient class three civilization. We are willing to engage diplomacy with any any Hedgian subunits you designate for this purpose. Okay, so we're we're gonna have to say hello and be nice, even though our our our. Yeah, let's let's be nice. Hello. Um. Okay. So that's that sorted. Good afternoon, everybody. As I hamster of wrath, slightly late there. I was quickly <laughs> reviewing all my channel point stuff uh, because I suddenly realised if people do redemptions, I can look at the queue and not miss any. Because I suddenly realised after three years of streaming that. Uh, Reward queue is quite useful. Uh, we already have some lovely people in chat already. We have uh, Captain Kupo, Math, and Quinlist. Welcome in, everybody. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Um, yes, we're back with some more Phoenix Point Terra from the Void. Um, which, most of the time, is my fridge. It's always a void, because I'm eating everything that's in it. But I made that joke last time, so uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm not fashionable. Okay, so we have some admin to do already, which is glorious. We had a couple of uh, character redemptions in, so we're going to get those sorted. Okay. Uh, I did fill around with the uh, mission scene a little bit, so all the little uh, commands are in the top left rather than the bottom, so hopefully that's not actually obscuring anything. Oh no, look at that! That's about right. Oh no, is that actually obscuring our resources now? It's kind of obscuring our resources. Okay, I might fix that during the break. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> There's always something! Uh, actually, where would be a safe spot for those? Hold on. Let's do this live. Nothing bad could happen. Editing stream screens? Scenes? Scenes and screens while you're live. Always a good idea. There you go. That looks appropriately cursed. That'll do. Actually, that's covering something else up. God, why do I do this to myself? God knows. Right, they can stay there for now. Oh, boy. Right, okay. Um, so we had Cavacupo and Quinlist, uh, wanted a couple of characters. Let's get that sorted. Why can I not click on this? Oh, that's because it's the, uh, 
<laughs> I just did a few sc a full screen preview, and then all of a sudden I couldn't click on anything because it's a preview and not the actual screen. There we go. That's what I wanted. Right. Okay. So let's give let's rename it Alejandra. Uh, let's rename it. So Cava Cooper wanted Cavi Point Man. There we go. The heavies that can't hit anything with the giant cannons and. Quinlis said the most useless person on the on the. Uh... I mean, it might be. I mean, I don't know. Takeshi might be a bit random. Was he the grenade throwing guy? Oh, he's the privileged guy. Yeah, okay, that works. Let's do that. Quin. Essential. There we go. I won't. Oh, yep, 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 yep. My brain auto corrected that to K H. You are correct. Yeah, my 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 Englishness just 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 kind of. Uh... Why can I not see the cursor on this? That's so annoying. There we go. Yeah, my brain just it's the k noise and just instantly in it auto corrected that to to k h because there we go. Super common for anyone who speaks English. Sounds about right. I can believe that. Um, now. Uh, before I move on, I'm sure there was something. Ah, okay, we haven't built it yet. This is the extra comfy seat for the um, manticore, which I haven't built yet. I thought I had, but I hadn't. So, where the hell were we since last time? Um, do, 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 do. Oh yes, we we're going to go visit to do this plot mission, weren't we? That was it. Um, I'm slightly worried about our resources, but this will be fine, I'm sure. Uh, they uh, specifically teach British English and Finland instead of American English. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, in fairness, we, we, came, with it, we came up with it first. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Did we? No, hang on. Did we steal it off somebody? I can't remember. We probably stole English from somebody else. That's what the English do. We steal everything. We're like we're like the Blood Ravens. Uh, we, we just re repurpose everything. Right. <laughs> repurpose. Yeah, yeah, that's what we call it. We actually made it first? Makes a change. <laughs> it's probably why it's called English. Okay! What have we got here? Um, exploration site. Randolph Symes III's private retreat, where we may be able to find additional information. Decipher his notes, make sense of his activities. Enemy presence! Hey! I knew there were bad guys there, I could feel their presence. Okay, um, we're going to have a look at our units quick, just to make sure we've got all the appropriate skills working. Okay, so Kareet and Bob, actually, we're going we're gonna to take the Eber off the end of here, because uh, I think, uh, there we go, he was just going to be Kareet and Bob, that's it. Right, he's got double grenades, double ammo, and a med kit, which is probably overkill, um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Kareet and Bobber. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I've only heard this guy. Yeah, honestly, uh, Kavakura, people seem to have very... I discovered this last stream. People have strong opinions about this game. Um, I came at this from, uh, like, XCOM. So, like, the more recent XCOM games. So I've got a lot of, like, XCOM muscle memory, which is, which is causing me some hilarity. Um... But yeah, I'm quite enjoying it so uh, um, so far. Okay, so her next thing is quarterback. Oh, so she can throw grenades really far. Uh, we've only got two grenades left, though, which is slightly worrying. I assume we can probably make more. Yeah, okay, let's... Because let's, that's, that's speed and grenades. Okay. So let's do that. Uh... Actually, we're going to leave the med kit out of there for now, I think. Because I think... Where are we? Uh, one of these guys was pretty good at medical stuff, I think. Well, somebody was. No, oh, that's privileged. Or maybe that might be in my previous playthrough. I honestly can't remember. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Sophia. Brilliant. I just So Sophia's good at... Okay, she's good with grenades and she's good at nursing. Okay, so I guess I guess we go half and half. 
I, I don't know. That probably works. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, there we go. Hey, Moon Eyes plays. Oh, it's not XCOM again. <laughs> hey, Moon Eyes, how's it going? Uh, it is not XCOM, you're right. Hey, Bamboozle, how's it going? Turn Bob into a one-man army? No, I don't think that's going to happen somehow. Going to have to lurk super sleepy. That's not a problem at all. Um. Okay, so we got... No, that's cool. Okay, that's fine. Might as well play into the strengths here. Okay, so this guy... This guy got return fire, jetpack control, and hunker down. Okay, that's good. So he can jump... Pop a squat and shoot anyone that punches him. That sounds good. Uh, they haven't got enough to level up yet. Neither do they. And we only just got a uh, cover point, man. We only just got that one, so that's fine. Right, okay, I think we're relatively okay? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, thank you for the hydrates. Cover Cooper, thank you, thank you. Bob is likely to die first. I mean, I hope not. Uh, yeah, you're actually, um, you are actually a, uh, oh god, what were they called? Jericho? Something Jericho? Can't remember the name. That's the Jericho armor? Uh, we actually recruited you from Jericho, so, um, you've got the, the new Jericho, there we go. You've got the new Jericho gear, which is what that looks like. <laughs> uh, also we dismantled your uh, machine gun in order to learn how machine guns work, so that's fun. I'm being fairly horrible, I'm failing at satisfactory. So you could say it's unsatisfactory. Uh... Yeah, there's a there's there's a candy cane gun. I'm I'm not sure what's going on with that. Oh hello. Pandoran supplemental siphon. Pandoran's capable of siphon attacks which all their own hit points while dealing damage. Well that sucks. Literally. <laughs> um so we need to watch out for those. Okay, right, I have to remember. I have to remember. The heavies are crap at Overwatch. This is known. Um, I have to remember this. Oh god, wow, how many bad guys are here already? Holy shit! Oh, come on, what the hell are these? Okay, we got five bad guys already? Am I, am I reading that right? That's five bad guys off the bat. This is not ideal as far as deployment things go. I don't like it. Um, okay, we're going to have to box a little clever here. Okay, so that's only going to be one shot. Okay. Yeah, not really. I mean, the guys that have jetpacks can go to the high ground, but then they're so short range, it doesn't really matter so much. And I know these guys can fucking motor as well. So I wonder if backing up a bit and overwatching might be an idea. Um, cause goddamn, that's a lot of stuff to start with. Ooh! Uh, I'm more worried about the Stranglers than I am the, uh, the, the Triton. I will be obvious, uh, will be obvious? I will be honest, not obvious. I'm never obvious. Uh, so let's move here. Right, let's try and pop one of these guys square off the bat here. Oh, we are not going to be popping one of those square off the bat because uh, that's got more hit, more hit points than I'm used to. Okay, that was a miss. That's great. That's a good start. I am so happy about that. Um, in which case, uh, how far can we throw grenades? <laughs> uh, annoyingly, the best place to throw grenades would be over here because they're all grouped up. But I don't know if we can do that. And... Well, if I manage to kill somebody, probably should have thrown a grenade first. We might be restarting this, actually. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try it. Oh, boy. Uh Oh, that is not gonna do very much damage at all, in fact. Wow. 50 damage? That's pretty crap. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. Disabled leg bleeding. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, we are gonna get absolutely bum rushed in this. This is not good. Okay, where's my guy that can hunker? Uh, hunker chunker. Okay, so that's one action point. That's three. Okay, so he's got the jetpack control, which costs less. So what we could do, we could do a bit of a distraction here. How much does Overwatch cost? He said, saying not putting... Okay, Overwatch is three. That's fine. If I go here... Okay, I know this looks this looks like a really stupid idea. Oh, I can't go there. Why, why can't I go... Is it because I'm under the bloody... I'm under the bloody roof? I can't jetpack because I'm under the bloody roof. That's great. Let's try that again. Right. Okay, that's better. Right. This looks like a really silly idea. Wait, what's he... Oh, okay. And then we do hunker down. Right. Okay, so... The reason behind that is he's got return fire. So, if somebody runs up to him and hits him, he's going to shoot them in the face. Which I think is a good option. Now, this other slight problem we're going to have is that these guys are going to come running in like maniacs. So, we need a good line of sight on that. That doesn't involve shooting our own person. So, I've got to remember quick aim. Quick aim might come in handy later. Ah, oh, this might bite. This really might bite, you know. Uh, yeah, let's do a wide cone. Cone of wideness. Right, and we have... Okay, you can't do an awful lot. Maybe we should back up. Back up the other heavy. Oh, uh, you too can't jump because you're under a roof. God damn it. Jetpacking under a roof. Yeah. yeah, it would be very short. It would be very short. Like, we thought. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to set him a little further back. Or her, in fact. So we're going to take some damage. Um, But them's the brakes. Uh, now, annoyingly, I have done this a bit wobbly because if I don't... Uh, if I have to be careful where I put my overwatch here, I might do double overwatch over here, actually. Hey, Uh A place jet back to ceiling. Exactly so. Um, no, let's do... Okay, this is going to be a very interesting first turn. Yep, here he comes. Ow. Shoot back. Why didn't he shoot back? I thought he'd shoot back. That's interesting. So return fire doesn't work with melee, apparently. Return fire really doesn't work with melee. I thought it did. We've learned something. Oh, I take it back. There was six bad guys. Oh, boy. Okay, then. So, that's a bunch of damage we didn't actually have to take, which is a bit unfortunate. So, what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to shoot this guy square in the face. Like so. Um, and then... Okay, so I can actually... Oh, next attack costs minus one AP. I didn't notice that about eight, uh, the hunker down. That's actually really good. Okay, and let's see if we can hit that from this range. That This is probably long range with that. That was a bomb, yes. Okay, so it is it is like classic return fire. I thought I thought attack would constitute anything, but apparently it, it, it doesn't, so that's good to know. This will probably not hit. As long as I don't actually hit, I'll shoot him in the butt, see if that app helps. Yep, told you. The accuracy on these is so bad! 
So bad. Okay. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, can't see him from there. Can see him from there. Okay. Who's not a really good grenade guy? You are. Okay, let's move. Oh, shit, that's Sophia. Never mind. Eyes peeled. That's not a great shot. But it might kill him. You never know. Oh, only winged him. Okay. Um... So we could actually use this and shoot again, though I am actually... How much does it cost to throw a grenade? Terrible. Okay, hang on. Wow! We did not... We, we have not been schmott on this. This is not good. Okay, so that guy's got to come in. Nah, it's based on where they are in the circle. So... Ready to engage. You see how the circle... That should hit. Because the circle is very, very small. So the shots will land in one of those two circles. Now, the other one had quite a wide circle, which meant it was probably going to miss. Yeah, the, the the armor the heavies have is... It makes them terrible, ac uh, really bad at accuracy. Yeah, it's very true. See, that was fine. Okay. So then, Karin and Bob should be able to finish this one off. Because this guy does not re does, does not realize that uh, concealment does not necessarily count as cover. There we go. And we've panicked the other guy. You could put sniper armor on a heavy. Now, see, that's interesting. We'll have to have a look at that. But then I would assume that Sniper Armor has way less actual armor. At a, at a guess. <laughs> okay, so we can't do much from here. So that's the... That's the free move. Pushing the limits. Which I, I have to remind myself does not have a confirmation thing on it. Um, Can you see anything? No, that's complete nonsense. But we could overwatch and hope for the best, because I didn't realize how much problems we've we'd put this guy in. Um Okay, so that's gonna be two points. Hunker down is one point. It's kind of annoying. They already had to name it from runner gun? Yeah, basically. Your sniper armored heavy can snipe with the cannon. There is that. What is the armor on this? 32. What does a sniper have? 17. Okay, so it's like, it's more than half the armor. I do think I'm missing something with these heavies, honestly. Uh, should we hunker down again? I mean, he's still going to get absolutely hammered. Hunker down armor buff. Hunker down attack boost. Maybe I should have hunkered down before I shot him. Okay, uh, Sophia is good. Oh, she can actually see him. What that look like? Terrible, because there's a tree in the way. Okay. In which case... This is, this is really our first, like, decent engagement. We haven't actually had much in the way of actual fight fights recently. Oh god, I can go into Overwatch. Uh, that's also handy. Right, don't shoot your own dude. Okay, that's not going to reach. That isn't going to reach. Can I, like, narrow it? Okay, the whole narrowing the, the overwatch... Ca no, because the tree's in the way. Okay. Let's see if he comes over there, see if that works. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, exchange the helmet for the sniper helmet? That's actually not a bad shell. Okay, we're not worrying about him right now because he's panicking because he just saw one of his mates explode. Okay, I hit him. No, not in the butt! 
Okay, yep, so he 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 regens. We we kinda knew that. Right. Uh where's Sophia? And you get over there. How much does this cost? Two points. Uh you're not gonna have two points when you get there, unfortunately. So maybe it might be an idea. Right, hang on a minute. Let's get this guy. Okay, he can see that over the rock. Right. So I guess the trick is with these, because the the aiming thing is so wide, is try and get as much of the asshole. Not I mean not the literal asshole. The asshole being the alien in the crosshairs as possible. Otherwise you'll probably just whiff. So this should have a relatively good chance to hit. And it fucking whizzed in the tiny little I don't understand the heavies in this. I I just don't. That's that's like it would have been harder to actually miss him than it would have been to hit him. I don't understand. Okay. That's weird. Finger on the trigger. Right, again. The majority of his body is in the circle. You actually fucking hit him that time. Okay, that's good. You're a better shot than the other guy. Okay, so we've got one dude left. Um, let's see if we can get... Um, Omar patched up. I don't think we can. I don't think we've got enough AP for it, but I'm going to try it anyway. That's XCOM, baby. Yeah, I know, exactly. Hi, Boyd! How's it going? Welcome, welcome. No, not enough action points, but that's fine. That is next shot, so that doesn't matter. I gotta remember all their little all their little uh action point saving skills. I keep forgetting those. Uh right, Irina, can you see anything? Oh you can, that's good. What that look like? Uh bit of a long shot, but fuck it. Marley's dead, so that works too. Obtain Simon's journal. Okay, we're gonna regroup a little bit here first. Second 50% clanned anywhere. Yes, I believe that is how it works. How have we got an ad? So I'm gonna stop and have a drink. <laughs> Those of you who don't have ads, who are probably subscribers or very lucky, hello. Uh, thank you very much for supporting the channel. And do hang around while we take pity on the people who aren't sub. <laughs> I'm trying to get into the more of the uh, the the um, hang of this. Uh, it is rather annoying. All right, let's uh, let's fiddle faddle a little bit here. Uh, we kind of regroup. Oh, actually, wow, Sophia, these the assault class is so fast. This is this is the crazy thing. Do you think there are bad guys indoors? Probably. Oh! They automatically open the door? That is both good and terrifying. I'm gonna just, like, overwatch over here, just, just in the vain hope that something's gonna happen. I have a funny feeling that's blocked, actually. Still getting the hang of the Overwatch cones as well, actually. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Right, you're staying there. You're staying there, because you're going to heal him up. Yeah, I've actually got a little... Uh, you haven't missed anything remotely important. I've got a little... Uh, um, a little... Um, Thing that tells me when an ad's running, so I'm trying to get into the habit of paying attention to it. Um, yes, I believe that is how it works. <clears throat> yeah, it is It is 50% inner outer kind of thing. Still, I believe the shot that was over here was still bullshit, in my humble opinion. <laughs> the scientific term is, I think that's bullshit. Uh, hey, Major Muzzle, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Thank you very kind. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's fix this guy up. 
There we go, that's good. Yeah, uh, Quintessential is kind of now our, our odd combo of... Uh... Oh no, wait, it's Sophia who's the odd combo of Gren Grenadier and Medic, so, you know, there's that. Do this. XCOM does like to have purely random hockey RNG. Yeah, I, as, I think I've said it like about five times uh, last stream. Um... Oh, not enough will points. Oh, he's gotta he's gotta like shake himself back up again, is he? Okay. I need to recover. Okay, cool. Okay, he needs more willpower. Dear God. Um. Ah, yes. As I said a bunch of times, uh, in the first stream. Um, the difference with that is the fact with this, if you have someone standing next to you, you can actually definitely fucking hit them. It's not like XCOM where you have, like, someone has 5% dodge or smoke or whatever, or do not die. If, if you're aiming at them, standing next to them, you will hit them. As evidenced by my guy getting the brakes beaten off him because, um, <laughs> he was just standing there. Okay, we're going to be relatively careful. I think the meme with XCOM is people forget that forgot that dodge was a, dodge is a thing, which literally means you can have a hundred percent chance to hit and still miss because it rolled the percentage for dodge. Oh, can I break through windows? Oh, this is glorious. Do it. Is it a hollow window? Oh no, it's a plastic window, and I just fucked it up. That's good. I'm I'm down with that. All right, is everyone else not doing anything? Doesn't look like it. I still don't know what this hands in the air fit symbol means. I don't know what that what that means. Right, okay. Uh you, sir, need to catch up. Oh yeah, I gotta look I'd be on the lookout for willpower uh, spots as well. I gotta remember those exist. Oh yeah, I moan about R I, I moan about RNG all the time. <laughs> it's a it's a pastime. Right. Okay. Uh, I guess this is going to be up the stairs, and there's probably going to be a surprise waiting for us up the stairs. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's a new Jericho heavy. Uh, it was the first person we uh, recruited, I believe. Yes, 80% of statistics are all made up. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I don't want to send him up there on his own, that's a terrible idea. I kind of wish that, like, there would be, like, a, a non-combat thing, so I could just, like, I could just click up here and they'd run up here, but I guess that's the whole point, that you're always in combat in this. Right, actually, there's some other heavies up there, actually, if we can't. Oh, no, we can't, because they're incredibly slow on the ground. They can't jump in doors, because they'll break everything. Here I am. Let's do this. Oh, there's nobody up there, so that's good. And there had it been, I wouldn't be able to fuck, do fuck all about it, so. Yeah, I almost, almost invested in uh, Chaos Gate, and then I kind of watched it, and I was like, mm, not too sure about that. Oh, it's upstairs. So, in fact, I could have sent one of the heavies to go and get it, because uh, we could have jumped up there. And then jumped up there and gone in through the roof. Never... Okay, lesson learned. Shit. Let's speed this up a bit, shall we? Oh, no, apparently... Oh, no, no, he's going to headbutt the floor again. God damn it. Repositioning. 
Nope, now he hasn't got enough. Now he hasn't got enough points now. <laughs> Fuck it. Hunker down just in case you get ambushed. Why take the stairs when... Wait, how do we get up there? Where, where, where did the stairs... Wait. I've spotted a slight flaw with this building. It doesn't have a second set of stairs. So I literally have to get up there. How annoying would that be? You've got an office on the top floor and you have to climb a ladder to get up there? Seriously? Why would you do that to yourself? Oh, he's not got enough, enough will points. Okay, this guy, dear God, this guy needs a talking to. He has, like, no willpower at all. Dear God. Everyone else has got double figures willpower. This guy does not. Holy shit. So he's got this amazing jetpack, but he's going to have to use the stairs. <laughs> use the ladder. Oh, there's a second ladder there. Didn't see that. Ah, uh, fuck it. Watch out. I'm moving in. Randall signs with an odd fellow. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hey, Metacene. I liked Chimera Squad. Again, uh, a lot of people had an irrational hatred for that game, and I actually quite liked it. I think everyone was expecting, like, uh, XCOM 3, and it wasn't. Um, whereas I was just like, do you know what? This is actually quite fun. Random generation architecture funsies. Yeah, a lot of ladders. All the ladders in the world. Uh, have I just blocked myself off? I have. That's amazing. Moving in quick. Right. Grab the journal. Yes. I think we won. I got a couple of level ups out of that. That's not too bad. Well, that doesn't look fun. Yeah, I, I liked all the the like interleaved stuff with Chimera As the Squad. Fell apart around us. It was difficult not to feel guilty. Some chose to be proactive and fight, but not me. I came here instead. My best weapon is my mind, and I need silence to put it to work. The history of the Phoenix Project is a complex tapestry. In Russia, Turkey, Britain, Spain, not one unbroken lineage, but a tangle of organizations, each passing the torch to the next with only <laughs> one goal, to protect the human race. But protect it from what? Did they know about the Pandora virus, and if so, how? The answers are out there. So much has been investigated and collected and analyzed, but it's all scattered, lost. I don't know if it's possible to track it all down, but I have to try. There's only one thing I'm sure of. I can't stay here anymore. He sounds a little bit like Benedict Cumberbatch. He's he's kind of got like like Benedict Cumberbatch. If Benedict Cumberbatch was doing like Smaug, that's what he sort of sounds like. Oh no, Khan! If he was doing his Khan impression. Yeah. <laughs> Big Zomba catch. Yeah, that guy. Okay, three key sites that Simes has singled out as particularly relevant to his research into the history of the Phoenix Project. Tech, plus, 25, uh, plus 125. Materials, plus 375. Sites added to Geoscape Rise by Sin by Virtue Fall. Site added to Geoscape Frozen. Site added to Geoscape, Prisoner of Ice. Okay. Symes fought for redemption. He sought to redeem the Phoenix Project, his family name and himself. A tragic figure writ large. But his story is not our story. We do not have to follow him and his trail of breadcrumbs. Okay. And... Oh! Replenished soldiers. Uh, ah, this is the I have to pay for stuff part of the uh, thing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, everyone's a bit knackered now. So we're going to have to probably go back to base and have a bit of a nap. Yeah, I imagine he probably got a lot of that in school. <laughs> 
But then, considering how rich and famous he is now, he probably doesn't give a shit. Uh, is there no human population bar in this mod? I have no idea. Um... Because I, I played... I have not played vanilla. I've only played this with the mod, because everyone said... A lot of people are, that I, I did a bit of reading, they said, if you have this DLC, play Terra from the Void. <laughs> it's one of the first research options? Oh, okay. Uh... I don't know. Cypress Vanu, oh, Poison Worm, Miss Sentinel. Maybe it's not in this mod. Not sure. Maybe not. Right. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Sophia. Okay, so what do we got going on with her? She is a salt person. What's this? Choose a secondary class to train in. Now that sounds fun. Proficiency with heavy weapons. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Uh, that costs 50. Oh, interesting. So she'd be a grenade throwing medic with a heavy weapon. That would actually be quite funny. Yeah, yeah. Will willpower definitely needs to go up across the board, I think, because uh, we, we tapped out the other guy with his willpower. That's probably a good shout. So he's got 13, because I think uh, from Nurse gives her plus 2, so that's pretty good. Uh, I like the idea of her having a heavy weapon. That's quite funny. Because then she will have the mobility... But then firing a heavy weapon takes three points, doesn't it? Hmm. I want to see what the options are for secondary classes, actually. Thanks for the hydrate, hyboid! Thanks for the hyboid, hydrate. Yeah. So obviously, this is the first time I've ever done this, so I, I am not... No one get mad if I don't make optimal choices. I am, I am exploring. So, um, I want to see what the options are for classes. I think this is a good idea. I want to try this. Champion of the battlefield has skilled in heavy weapons and armor. So we literally, we, or we can have sniping. Interesting. Well, I wouldn't want to give her heavy weapons, so that's going to slow her the fuck down. Because she's already got heavy weapons proficiency as a skill already. It makes more sense. But won't that slow her down, though? But yeah, I suppose she'd be at the front. It's 2% unoptimized everyone, Riot. Yeah. <laughs> Only if she wears heavy armor. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, let's do that, then. Ah, so that's... Okay, so I've kind of screwed her out of a skill there. Because she already had heavy weapon proficiency as an option, so now I just have a blank square there. Okay, so what's that opened up? Um, heavy training, heavy weapons, mounted weapons, and jetpack. Um, it's true I didn't spend points in it. That's a good point. Uh, okay, that's weird. We've got a shred resistance. Skirmisher, hunker down. Return fire. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, but that's now that's actually that's actually pointless. Okay, so I've goofed a little bit there because she's got heavy weapons proficiency as being a heavy, and now she's got heavy weapon proficiency there. So that's actually that this here is now useless. Both of those slots are pointless, um, which is kind of funny. Uh, also, the one thing I'm not seeing is the fact that we should have a spare... I thought we had a spare cannon, but it's not showing up, so that's a bit weird. Ah, toggle class filter off. Okay. So she's not proficient in heavy weapons. Huh? Uh, 
no, it's as bad as I thought it was. That makes no sense whatsoever. Because it says proficiency with heavy weapons, mounted weapons, and jetpack, but then it says you are not proficient. That's why I, that's why I was pondering going sniper, because I thought that might interfere with that. So weirdly, I still have to spend the 15 points to become proficient with heavy weapons, which makes no sense. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, we done goof there. To be continued. <laughs> Because that's, that's clearly not quite functioning how it should be. Well, tits. Yeah, that, that's that's looking like a, an oopsie there. Oh, well. Um, Anyone else got anything? Actually, who else was... Uh... There you go. Right, Miss Sniper. This should be interesting. Uh, Armor break. 15 shred for next direct fire weapon. Okay. Gunslinger. Shoot handgun three times at 50% accuracy, uses AP cost of the weapon. Interesting. But I'm probably going to go with armor break, I think. And then. Oh, wait, I do actually have spare sniper helmets. What are the chances the heavy can't the heavies can't wear sniper helmets? I bet you it's quite high. Um a little bit more willpower as well. I think willpower is a good thing. Right, did that take? That did take. Okay. Right, so... Okay, Kareem Bob's got, like, 34 SP, but he hasn't actually... Can't afford any of that. Oh, yeah, he's got heavy weapon proficiency. That is strange. That is very strange. Right, okay, so... Banshee Sniper Helmet. Accuracy minus four. Armor 14. Oh, I see. I see what you say. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Judgment Head. What the fuck? Disciples of Anu Judgment Priestly Head Mutation. What? Where has that come from? Did we just randomly find that somewhere and forget to and didn't notice. I feel that might be the case. I don't know where I picked that up from, but that's interesting. Right, so the accuracy fuckery is coming from the helmet. I see. Okay, so let's... Can we Can we do this? Okay. So... Does it give me, like, an overall armor rating? So 30... 34... Oh, it's only for the head. Okay. Accuracy plus 8%. Okay, that feels incredibly cheeky, but I'm so pissed off with how many shots these guys are missing, I'm fucking taking it. <laughs> I'm pulling the shenanigans. In fact, hang on a minute. Uh, where are these? Have we got a, like a. Hang on, let's. That's a. Do we not have a spare assault helmet? Because that actually might be a better idea. No. Okay, we've only got spare scout stuff. Okay. It definitely helps with the I can't see moments. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, that is a net gain of 12 accuracy. Effectively. If, we, if, we're, if we're looking at that math-wise, we've gone from... We've gone from minus four to plus eight. So that why yeah, that's a that's a great suggestion. To be honest, I, can I make helmets? I can make helmets. We could make them an assault helmet. Uh 
which is which is no loss no gain i mean that's 20 versus it's only six points of it's six points of armor different actually interesting yeah we'll have to give that a try if they end up getting their heads torn off then i mean oopsie but that kind of uh yeah uh melee is a thing yeah melee is a thing um somebody 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 i think it was this guy or gal had this skill which is uh Takedown, which is 80 damage and 160 shock damage, which replaces Bash. Which sounds great. Unfortunately, they have yet to kill sufficient people to level up yet. They're only 20-something XP off. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Right, now, who was it? It was the other Heavy that had no willpower at all. He's got 7 willpower. That's just sad. Actually, I'm going to dip into the Phoenix skill points to actually get that. It's still only nine. It's because he has a history of violence. Yeah, history of violence. That That's why that's brought that down. That's fine. Okay, I think we're good. Mostly. Right, so note to self. Uh, armor is completely interchangeable, which I didn't think it was. So that's kind of cool. Reverse engineering anvil 2 helmet. Oh, is this because I removed the helmet from the other guy? I don't think I want to do that because I'll get rid of it entirely. So not not going to do that. <laughs> okay. Um. So I guess we fly home and have a nap because um. I don't think this restores. What does this do? That rec recovers stamina. Is anyone actually wounded? Hang on a second. Uh, personnel. Stamina. Oh, right. Actually, so we don't have to go back to the base. Because everyone's at full HP, and we actually recover um, stamina in the manticore. So actually, that's not bad. That is fine. In which case, we can go wherever the hell we like. Well, the thing is with that... Um... The, the history of violence thing is great, except you won't be able to hit anything. Or no, not hit anything. Uh, you won't be able to use your special skills because you're you're t apparently too angry to be willful or something. Right, so where are all these these special things that we just unlocked? Um, oh, there's one down here. Okay. Slimes Memorial Base. Oh, that's an actual base base. Okay. One right there. Phoenix Storage. Okay. Um, that's an exploration slope we've cleared. Still worried about the giant eyeball. I've got to be honest with you. Um, I mean, we may as well. We can kind of like mooch here, 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 and head that way. I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? So these guys should be resting. They are resting. Okay, that's cool. It's another Jericho base. God damn. I don't need skills. I have a fist and a gun. <laughs> yeah. I don't need skills. I'm just angry. Research complete. Right. We have completed the research of the disciples of Anu, who are fucking nuts as far as I can tell. Right, honestly, did these does these sound like, you know, good fun people to know? The children of the Black Tide, the holy disciples of the Xenoglossic Doctrine, and the Order of Anu. Oh god. The dead god. Not not a good start. Apostle to the once born, keeper of the threshold, the voiceless hierophant. Person who can't write a fucking check because their name can't fit on the fucking thing. Sure. Someone from school called Anu. Did they worship Cthulhu? The disciples of Anu were a mystery. Where others saw devastation, they saw hope. Where others saw the end of the world, they saw a new beginning. Their leader called herself the Exalted, 
and she claimed to believe in humanity. She preached that the human soul was perfect, that the root of our problems was our insufficient evolution. The Pandora virus was a threat, but it was also an opportunity to change ourselves, mm. to become better humans, to mutate. We knew that humanity needed to adapt. There was no other way to survive. The disciples offered a solution, but what was their end game? There was something beyond their hierarchies and their rituals. The exalted had a secret. I mean, honestly, a, a cult full of cool lesbians I'd be happy about. These guys seem to be Cthulhu worshippers, which worries me. Cthulhu is here, yeah. Killer clowns? What? We have set down near an old amusement park. The rides are rusted. Oh, fun games of killer clowns. The landing zone is pretty small. Take quite an effort to explore this location around the aircraft. No sight lines can be pretty dangerous too. Precisely the sort of place best avoided in horror movies. <laughs> now, unfortunately, our guys are not fully rested yet, which is a bit awkward. Take off and leave the location undisturbed or clear a path and search the fun fair. I mean... Search the fun, the, the haunted overgrown fun fair sounds like the worst possible decision, which means I want to do it. Right, I don't think our guys, our guys aren't super knackered, are they? Oh, this is like a, a thing. It turns out there are no Pandora and killer clowns in the amusement park. There are plenty of broken railings on stable roofs. Recovering the useful bits of machinery is quite hazardous. Tech 65, materials plus 190, soldiers lost 10 stamina. Fair trade. Fair trade. Um, it doesn't seem to. Oh, we just lost all the stamina we just gained. Okay, that's a that's a fair point. Um, let's go have a look over here. Actually, we're not going to explore. I want to get these guys up to full stamina again before I do anything else. I know this sounds a bit daft. Right, it should be going up. Well, it's taking forever. Nearly. Okay, right. Because I didn't want something to kick off while everyone's stamina was down. Right, first Salt Recon Farm module. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, we need to build that. Can we build that? Uh, that's the far M. Oh, wait, is that the thing we just... That, that is the thing we're after, isn't it? Right, it's plus four... No, that's stamina recovery. Huh, wait a second. Wait a second. Right, but that wasn't... Oh! Okay, so we had one for free. But I had to research it in order to be able to build a spare one. Is that what we're saying? Because I thought that was, the, that was the health one, but it's not. Okay, I think I see. We could totally build another Manticore if we wanted to, actually. Uh, the resources. But then we haven't got enough personnel to go across two Manticores, so that's a bit pointless, really. Ooh, number one fan. Urbilum. At Urbilum, our operatives are received warmly. Skewlephylax. Skewlephylax? I don't know. Keeper of the vessels. That's more Anu stuff. Um, a blessing from the dead god. I, I don't like the sound of these dudes. <laughs> okay. So they're sharing information. That's, that's fine. Thank you. Tech and research. Nice. We shall work on all this cool stuff together. 
He's a he's a Phoenix Point fanboy. I love it. That's funny. Anoint the flesh. Okay, right. Uh, we were kind of hanging in this direction, weren't we? So, uh, is there anything else cool I can make here? Tier one magazine, Ares, Odin grenade. I read that as Viagra. I thought that was the Viagra assault rifle. It's not what it was. Oh wait, we can ma oh wait, have we retro Oh we've retrofitted the uh retro dude added the um machine gun which has an even worse range than the cannon does. That's great. I'm so happy we spent the time. Oh Jesus. Hey old Prozac, how's it going? Viagra prophylaxis, yeah, something like that. Thank you very much for the follow. Hey, come react. <laughs> mag, mag dumps in two seconds. <laughs> okay, I made. The, I honestly thought that machine gun would be uh, pretty fun. Uh, it turns out that's got that's a actually worse effective rage than the cannon is. Oh, uh, oh, mind you, hang on. What are the what are the other cannons we're using at the moment? A missile stream is always a treat. Oh, thank you very much, Koopo. Cap Koopo, sorry. I've shortened that to Koopo, I don't know why. Uh, right, hold the, hold the phone. Let's have a look at the, the silly cannons we've got on here. Okay, their effective range is 17, and they were missing a fucking... Alright, probably because of the shit helmet. They were missing quite badly. I, I'm not sure that that machine gun's going to be a big upgrade. Or even remotely an upgrade. I think that might actually be a downgrade. <laughs> um, Urigan MG. Damage 35. Oh, it burst 10. Okay, that's a lot of DACA. Ammo capacity 40. So you get... If you went full whack, you're going to get four shots out of it. I'm tempted because I like guns. Uh, this mod lets the independent gear be manufactured. Not sure you wait to do since it's worse than Phoenix gear. Um, yes, I think it is cheaper than theirs. We don't actually have a machine gun in any way, shape, or form. I'm honestly tempted to go back to the tier one auto cannons because those like candy guns we've got just they're they're powerful, but I'm not convinced how good they actually are. Give the other guy a machine gun? Well, really, we should probably give... Uh, hang on a minute. Let's have a look at this. Again, effective range 17, but then compared to this... Damage 60. That does way more damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm tempted to give... Uh, where is he? Uh, Omar's got return fire, so I'm quite tempted to give him the try the machine gun out just for giggles um oh wait hang on no 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 i have a much better idea we were actually reverse engineering the machine gun that jericho have which is actually better we're gonna wait on that can you match manufacture a phoenix point machine gun i think th yeah i don't actually think we have I think the assault rifle is basically our machine gun, isn't it? That's at a burst of three, but effective range is 20. I'm almost tempted to swap those back to... to um, or we might do one and one. Let's do... Where are we? Let's give that one. When we retrofit the uh, Jericho uh, gun, I might give it a go. No, I've just done the same thing. Where the hell would I be if I was... Ah, oh, there we go. And the other big handy thing about the uh, tier auto cannons, they have more ammo. So we'll see how that goes. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, the cannon does hit pretty hard. Yeah. Right, where are we going? Uh, let's go here. 
Research complete. Oh, poison one aut autopsy. Okay. Uh, it ruptures itself. Yes, and I can't hit the damn thing half the time. Okay. Immune to poison, relatively easy to kill, vulnerable to explosives. I mean, most things are vulnerable to explosives. Uh, what research does that give us? Oh, improved medkit technology. Okay. Um. So if we slap that in the bottom there, pop that to the top, put the sentinel at the top. Okay, there we go. Okay. That works. The more the disciples of Anu invest into this mutation tech, the further away they will move from what New Jericho considers humanity. This is not a threat, but a statement. I mean, it can be both. There is still time to look to reason, not superstition, for solutions. To seek answers in human will, instead of submission to the alien. But that time is running out. Unsurprisingly, these two don't like each other. Oh, so they're now... Oh, okay, well that's really funny. Wait, why would I want to go and rescue them? Have I got to go... Oh, okay. So this is, this is the whole thing where it says we can't do everything. So, the, ironically, the tentacle-hugging nutbags are now under attack from the tentacle-wielders. Um... So, do we just let them die horribly, or do we go and intervene? <laughs> or, how long is it going to take me to, to, to... I've got a little... I've got to hedge my bets here a little bit. Okay. Oh, we found Snedrian! Okay. Exarchia... I almost said ducks. That is not what it says. The situation is tense. Someone figured out that open and democratic society would be easy to infiltrate. Uh. Oh! Stop a group of thieves who have stolen critical research. I mean... I'm tempted to do that and just let the fucking Disciples of Anu get eaten, because that's not really my problem. They decided it was a great idea to set up in the cloud zone, so I don't know. <laughs> let's let's go let's go wrangle some tech. Okay, all items on the battlefield will be automatically recovered after mission success. Okay, works for me. Exarch Ducks. <laughs> the worst Eldar Autark there ever was. Yes. A feathered menace he was. Oh dear. Okay, have they dropped us right in front of the enemy like they did last time? No, that's good. I'm happy about that. Okay, right, so these guys have guns. So we need to be a little bit uh a little bit schmott about this. It's a relatively small... Well, I say it's relatively small. I can only see some of it. Right, let's uh, cover. I feel cover is a good option. Um, well, Cover Point Man is actually... Oh, he's got the tier. Okay. Right, so just because he's, like, a heavy doesn't mean he can't jump into cover. Oh, that gives you cover from one side. That's a bit weird. Does that give me no cover at all? I'll give you some cover. Let's go over here. No? Okay, I gotta keep an eye on willpower. Willpower is a thing. Okay, there's nobody there. Move up there. Just for a giggle, I'm gonna overwatch. I doubt I'm gonna see anything, but just... Oh, I know I can't see anything because I'm actually peering around the tree. Ah, I gotta get used to that. Nothing's getting past me. Rolling out. I see no reason to be relatively cautious. 
That does not provide cover, because apparently it's a tree. Okay. Here comes the phoenix. Here comes the phoenix. Wow, don't I sound like a dick? Okay, uh... Yeah, candy cane guy. He's the candy cane man. Okay, that counts as cover, that's good. Yeah, the one drawback I've, I've just spotted is the guy that has the lowest willpower has all the uh, all the cool shit. So that's that's something we gotta work on. <laughs> that's not great. Uh, okay. Sophia, the person who has heavy training but still doesn't know how to fight if shoot heavy weapons. Uh, yep, she can go there. And Kareetan Bob. Let's go. I I think the Overwatch is garbage because I don't get the sight lines right. Also, I think I've just put one of my own guys in inside my own Overwatch, which is not smart. Oh, okay, we've got a contact up there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hello. Clunk. Carrion. Shredded Vipers. You're facing a gang called the Shredded Vipers. Their leader is Nuka Cola, using the tactic active camo. Oh, shit. Allies within 16 tiles invisible. Effect disappears immediately on leader's death. Oh, God. Well, he's fairly visible. Okay, so they're pushing from the right. And we got one guy we can see on the left. Okay, now he can see. Okay, so this guy needs to die. I am very glad we took cover. Okay. Okay. Now he's out in the open. So, what I'd love to do is get over there and shoot him, but I can't because the action point cost on this thing is huge. Um. Okay, okay. Hmm. What does this look like these days? That looks terrible. Because that has a pretty good chance of missing him entirely. If only that heavy had a grenade. That's a good point, actually. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so... I don't... I think these guys have a shit ton of armor. I'm tempted just to take take two shots with the Greek Bob. Oh wait, how much does it cost to throw a grenade? Two. Okay, so we could throw a grenade, use quick aim, and shoot him. That's not the worst idea I've had, because they said if he dies, then they lose all the cloaking shit that apparently I can't see that them using it yet but fuck it okay and then we do that whoop, whoop. and then we can shoot him not very accurately but we can shoot him or indeed her I think right but probably gonna miss because uh, of the accuracy reduction you know what? That's not too bad. Uh, why am I not ducking behind the cover again? Why am I why am I remaining standing? I would have thought ducking behind the cover would have been No? I mean, okay. Right, where's my sniper? She might be able to, in fact, she might have been able to just like kill her in one go, but there we go. Tactical bandana. I don't think this is going to help. I'm going to go for a torso shot because that's virtually guaranteed to hit. Virtually. Uh, uh oh. oh, it hit the assault rifle. Oh. <laughs> I mean, in a way, I suppose that's good, but... At the same token, I wouldn't mind her being dead. That'd be great. 
Um, okay, so, what does this look like? Pretty bad. Come on. Fuck! It's kind of what I expected to happen, to be honest, but there we go. Right. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I mean, should we just concentrate on getting rid of her? I think that might be a good idea. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, oh yeah, I have uh, I, I have uh, the free move. Okay. Um, I just think the assaults are just so much better than the heavies. The heavies just feel very awkward. I don't know why. I mean, I'm wondering if it's almost worth just manufacturing a bunch of, like, assault uh, armor and giving it to the heavies, because is the 10 extra armor really worth all the bollocks that the, the, the rest of them do? It's kind of weird. Better later when they're bigger targets? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Waits patiently for Hamster to progress. Okay, there's, there's clearly something I'm missing on that front. Um, I guess that's not cover because it's a hologram, which makes sense, I suppose. Already there. Right. So what we got left? We've got two. That's only going to give us one. All right. What does that look like? Now, I mean, to me, that looks like a terrible shot, but apparently that's actually not not actually that bad. It was it was a hit. I'll take that. Also, I completely forgot there's a bunch of guys over here, so that's not great. Um, so that's a door. That's is that a window? That's a window. Oh, I can see somebody. Who can I see? Come get some. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? No. When the big guys show up, you wish you had more heavies? Yeah, probably. Okay, so... If I go... No, that sounds like a bad idea. I kind of want to overwatch this person coming into the room. But I think this pot plant might actually get in my way. Also, I don't think the overwatch will work through the window. I could... Can I just not smash my way in? Oh, apparently not. Hmm. We we spent an awful lot of action points getting rid of that leader, but I figured it was worth it because they were talking about cloaking and stuff, which sounded terrible. Right, let's experiment. What does this look like? That looks like they can't see through the window. Oh no, it is the pot plant. It's the wall. Okay. So what if I just went here? Like that. And then did that. That looks good. I'll take that. Let's try that. Um, She can see that, but can't do anything about it. Oh, she can overwatch. I forgot about the sniper being able to overwatch for one, one action point. Reading. 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 Okay. Uh, I don't want to overwatch my own guy. Where would they liable? I mean, they could actually run this way and come out of that window so let's let's cover that one off okay she's still got the free move in fact she can do overwatch as well so if we did overwatch yeah all right kareem bob can't do an awful lot because he's only got one action point left omar can't do anything because he's a terrible shot um, yeah, he really needs more willpower. Dear God. Okay, let's just see what happens, I guess. That was not expected. I was not expecting him to go that way, but that's okay. That's fine. Oh, solid. Oh, 
they did do what I thought they'd do, which is annoying. But they didn't come out the window. Hey, PM card to boy. Yes, very interesting glass physics. Yeah. Okay. That's... That wasn't really how I wanted that to go down. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Um... Assault Heavy Sniper? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know if there's more than, um... If that might be all of them, actually. Wait, is, can I really not see that one? Oh, apparently not. Well, that's why you couldn't shoot me, which I suppose makes sense. Uh... Ah, okay. I might be right about the heavy armor. Yeah, yeah, I think it I I just think the 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 downsides of the heavy armor are, are not enough to offset the rest of it. Cuz I mean the mobility from the jump pack is great, but the trouble is this guy's got so his willpower is so crap. I can't do it very often. Um and recover takes your entire turn. Okay. So the trouble is, I can't see... I was thinking this person would come through here and I could hit them, but this is the thing, I can't even move. They've got a very nice angle on me, which I'm not keen on. Okay. Let's see what we got here, Bob. Dynamo. Okay, so he's a heavy. Okay. Okay. What have we got in the backpack? Okay, I have a spare grenade in the backpack. Does that cost us anything? Okay, it costs us one action point to put it there. Okay, hang on a minute. So throwing... I think throwing a grenade was two. We can reduce that to one, so we can still throw a grenade and shoot. I think. Maths. I wonder if this will destroy this wall, too. Or will it not? Oh, apparently that's going to do absolutely nothing to him. It's because I can't throw it in the... Oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah, no, that totally worked. Uh, there might be stuff uh, later on. But now his cover's gone, so that handles that one. <laughs> also appears to be only holding a pistol. Did somebody break his pistol? I don't know. Let's go, let's go, let's go mid-section. Okay, that's solid. Okay. Uh, Irina still can't see anything. Ooh. Right. Omar, what does this look like? Pretty fucking awful. I can go here, which means he's probably going to get shot by everyone. How much does hunker down cost? One action point, will point. So I can't move, shoot, and hunker down. Okay, that's kind of awkward. His gun arm got wounded? Oh, okay. That's good. Oh, I can see that guy from here. Oh, that's handy. That might be useful. Okay, to be continued. Um... Uh... That, I bet you, is still not a very good shot. And also, that means he's going to get flanked by everything. But he's got lots of health, so... Let's do it. I must admit, what uh, I, I, I did look up some tips, and what a lot of people have said is actually be aggressive. Um, unlike an XCOM, where being aggressive can like really mess you up, a lot of the tips were like, be as aggressive as you can, because shooting people dead is like way more useful than 
hunkering down and, and trying to keep yourself in one piece. And I think that's something I need to possibly learn. Right, this is either going to be hero or zero here. And it's hero. And the cupboard behind him as well. Fuck you, cupboard. Okay, all right. That's not bad. And he got some will points out of that as well, which is good. <laughs> this person is now panicked. Because <laughs> he's just seen his mate get absolutely ventilated. Uh, so let's see if we can accomplish that twice. So we can go in here. Smash the window. Weirdly. Uh, see what this looks like. Pretty good. Okay. That looks... I do wonder if those cannons... Are... Oh, okay. His head is about... The... Or their head is about the only thing I can hit from here. So let's let's hope this works. Once. I hit it once. Resisted. I mean, what was resisted? Being shot in the face? I don't think that was resisted. Moving and shooting is a hundred times better than Overwatch. Yeah, I think you might be right. I don't know. The assaults. Uh, the assaults when they've got the assault rifles actually seem pretty good at Overwatch. And the sniper's not bad in Overwatch. It's just the heavies that are abysmal at Overwatch. Which kind of makes sense in a way, I guess. Right. Can we get cover here and shoot this person? I think we can. Okay. Right what that look like? Oh, yeah. Yep, that looks that looks pretty... I mean, we might hit the tree. We, we could hit the tree. But we didn't. And his head's been disabled. Which is not what you want, really, is it? Okay, all right, we turned that around pretty good. Okay, so there's one guy left up top there. Uh, that guy is also... Okay, these guys are panicking because they've just seen us do terrible, terrible things to their friends. Um, So, what have we got here? What does this look like? Pretty awful. That is probably going to miss. Now, overwatching on, uh, like multiple levels i don't think works very well no because that's completely that's completely blocked off so that person's going to come around to this window and probably start shooting at us but i don't think i can make the overwatch work in that regard so that's a bit crap we're gonna have to just probably suck that up um hmm Alternative, we could move, which then put him out of sight and we could deal with him later. Yeah, that's pretty not a bad shout, actually. Right, how does that look now? Uh... Oh, there's a giant gaping hole while I shot the floor. That's quite funny. Okay, overwatching on multiple levels does not work very well. Or at all, possibly. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. Um... Hmm... So they're in there. So their options are break through the windows. Take. I reckon they're going to take over there and shoot, or they can come this way. Which would be weird if they did that. Ugh. Hmm. Right. I'm going to hydrate while the uh, ad's running. I mean, unless they do something really stupid like, I don't know, jumping down from up there, which I don't think they will. That person's going to bleed to death, so that's not going to be a problem. Yeah, I don't think you can overwatch on multiple levels. Possibly because the thing I'm standing behind is is blocking it off. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, and the vain thing that someone's going to go this way, let's do that. Right, got quintessential um you can go there and just cover this person off for the hell of it oh he wasn't quite dead they are most assuredly dead now and so are they and that person didn't move okay now the other thing 
that I will say about Overwatch, it works when people shoot at you. It's not, they don't actually have to move in order to trigger it. So if, what happened there was, uh, one of them was going to, well, one of them moved over here, but this person, was, I think, was going to shoot and they got ventilated. So actually, that was a pretty good shot considering that was on Overwatch. So it kind of, uh, yeah, break the floor. I mean, do you know what? I think I could. Hang on. Because I've got free aim, haven't I? Oh, you're not talking about that Overwatch? <laughs> no! No, no, no. We're talking as in tactical game Overwatch, as in waiting for the guy to, to, to move and then shoot them. The trouble is, when I'm in free aim, I don't know where that person is. It's, it's hard to... I mean, I could move, so it's virtually above me, or I could just guess. So hang on, is it is it the... I don't think the floor tiles match up, because there's a square bit here. Is it that bit? I think it's this bit. Oh no, hang on. They're right they're right on the the edge of that corner bit, that square bit. So here. I think they're there. Let's double check that. Yeah, the floor tiles and the ceiling tiles don't quite match up. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Cause I'll still have one uh action point left, which means I can get out the way. That did nothing. The reason that did nothing uh, was because that's... Uh, I have a funny feeling one of the cannons could have done this. This is an auto cannon. The other one is like a rocket launcher. So we're going to get out of that spot because reasons. Okay. Where can we surprise this person? Wait, I have grenades. No, I think I'm out of grenades actually, aren't I? Yeah, shit. Oh no, Sophia has some grenades. Uh, I don't think I can throw grenades through a broken window, though. Or an intact window, in fact. Oh, apparently I can! Oh no, I can't. Wait. Is that... Is that right? Is that telling me I can do that? Because that would be really weird if I could. That looks like it's going to land on the roof, but... I am worried why this person didn't move, I'm going to be honest with you. Atop the roof next to the wall. Oh, here! That's actually a much better idea. That is actually a much better idea. Well, like here. I don't think it's going to blow the wall up. Oh, no, it did! It did, didn't it? I mean, it blew the wall up. Don't think it hurt anybody. Uh... Oh, I missed it by one floor tile. Look at that. One floor tile. Well, they're going to be in a fucking shock, aren't they? Um, I wonder if I move backwards with my sniper, I'll be able to see anything. Oh, what are they? Scuttle Raider. What are you? What's 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 your fucking deal? Varangian battle axe. Okay, if if this lands, this will be impressive. Yeah, we 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 tried it with the uh the tier battle ca uh, battle cannon or a cannon. I think it's only the uh hell cannons that can do that. Right, this might not work. I mean, they're more revealed now, so I guess there's that. Have I got my spare heavy? Right, now that's annoying because now my sniper is exposed. We were all just, we were trying to be <laughs> Can you just... <laughs> Can you just imagine being this person? They're like, 
Hmm, that was a strange rumbling from behind the floor. The the, wi the, the the wall explodes, and then the sniper just misses, and it's just like... Okay! <laughs> I... I'm... I am blessed? Yeah. Um... So, I wonder if I can... I can land on the roof, but I can't do anything other than hunker down. And then I'd have to jump off the roof a second time, which would be a bit crappy. Um... This person's going to be a pain in the ass. I can tell that. Yeah, let's get next to the guy with the battle axe. That is a fair point. But they can't... Can they drop down from here? I wonder. I wonder if they can drop down. Okay, if they can... Uh, right, okay. Let's cover off, cover off multiple instances here. So if they drop down the hole and come at me, I will miss them entirely because this Overwatch does nothing, apparently. The Overwatch is blocked by a pot plant. Where... No, the Overwatch is actually blocked by the wall, hilariously. So because I'm actually behind cover, I can't Overwatch at all. Okay, that's that's kind of... that's kind of weird. Kind of irritating as well. Um... Hmm... So it literally has to be... Yeah. That doesn't... I don't know. I'm going to try it anyway, just to see what happens. I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. I do not think that's going to work very well. Uh, who got shot? I think it was... Uh... I think it was her, wasn't it? So let's go patch her up. Hey, our gaming! How's it going? Welcome, welcome. He just thinks he farted badly and destroyed the wall? Quite possibly. That was probably a little premature use of a uh, med kit, but there we go. Right, we still have the other heavy. Uh, hmm. I think we'll just get him in close and hunker down. Right, see what happens. Oh, he dropped! I did get him! I shot the wall. Oh, that's good. That's solid. That's solid. Oh, oh, hello, sir. Oh, no. Ow! Jesus Christ! That was a lot. Damn! I hope you can't do that twice. Okay, it turns out axes are really good. Uh, right. Where's our speedy medic? Because we're in dire need of a speedy medic now. Oh, no. Uh, how much is that? That's going to use two action points. Shit. Okay. So, we need to bring them... Oh, oh, that's bad. Okay, you need to go there. There you go. So, you know what we were saying about, like, armor and how useful is armor and, and so on and so forth? I think we've just had the answer to that question. Yeah, orcs go chop, chop, chop. It fucking well did as well. Turns out giant axes are quite terrifying. Right. Uh, yes. Prevent this person from dying, if you would be so kind. Thank you. Right. Now, amusingly, how much willpower you got? You're full on willpower. You can do that. And then I think we can shoot the fucker. Oh, we can't shoot the fucker. Oh, no, that's zero action points. Fuck, never mind. I goofed. Uh, right. Kareet and Bob. Acquiring target. I'm going to shoot this guy in the head. And now he is dead. <sighs> Fuck that guy in particular. Okay, guys with axes. Fucking terrifying, we've just discovered. 
Jesus! <laughs> Holy crap! So now we're gonna have to go back to base because one of our guys is absolutely fucking mangled. Okay, I was I was expecting like very Hi, bad there. things. My name is Athena, and I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way, but the truth is, we are more like a powder keg. That's not a good thing! Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai, Stas tries to keep everyone calm, every haven has a totally different set of priorities, and then something like this happens. I don't think describing your society as a powder keg is a good idea, just saying. I'm being honest about our flaws, because I think, crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable, given everything we've been through, and the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about it, please. We have a lot in common, and here's your payment. We believe in people being rewarded for their labor. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the money. I'm definitely gonna take the money. We can generate mutations. Oh god. Sure, I'm taking the money. One of my dudes got absolutely You're hammered. Welcome. I hope we can work together again. Tech 190, which is that one? No, that one. Yep, no, that's good. I'd say that's fair. Uh yeah, replace all of those. Also, could we have a replacement leg for um for, uh, who was it? Uh, Cavern Point Man. Actually, unfortunately, well, there's life imitating art for you. You got chopped in the leg. I believe. Um. Make me a cyborg. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've got the choice of that one. Ah, uh, okay. What are options here? We have got takedown. 80 damage and 160 shock damage to an adjacent target replaces bash. Now that sounds fun to me. Uh, actually, we could have that and return fire if we wanted to. I mean, that's 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 25 points. I say yes to both. I like I like this idea. Now I wonder if that still uh, ruins your uh, bloody rifle when you hit someone with it. I imagine it probably does, but uh, there we go. Right, where's where's our guy with no willpower? Omar. Oh, Jesus Christ, Omar. Yeah, you've already got nine willpower. That's terrible. The weakness of my flesh disgusts me. <laughs> Wait, who else? Did somebody else have a... I thought I said two people had an up... Uh, uh, level up. Was it Kareen and Bob? Oh yeah, he's level four. Holy shit! Uh, right, we're not going to make the same mistake we did with the uh, Sophia. So, so if we gave him a heavy weapon proficiency first before we picked his second class, is that probably a good idea? Because last time that was kind of weird. So I wonder. If you have people that have, like, two different classes, does that mean they can carry two primary weapons? I'm probably not, I'm guessing. Um... What's that? Oh, he's immune to goo. I don't think we've encountered any goo. Just adds a third row of talents? Okay. Hmm... What has he got? Uh, it's still heavy. Okay, so there's only th there is only three. There is only three classes, as far as I can tell. So let's go sniper with him for giggles. He still has the option of heavy weapon proficiency. So someone with heavy weapon proficiency who has sniper skills that could be quite funny, actually. Okay. 
So actually, you know, he can now use anything. That's pretty good. Uh, oh wait, hang on, what the hell's this? Hephaestus 2 magazine, Synedrion laser pistol. Oh, okay. Uh... Yet AR independent magazine assault rifle. I'm glad I didn't stop to pick these up, because uh, that would have been quite sad. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> we got the battle axe! We got the battle axe! 160 damage, 20 piercing, 20 bleed. Holy fudge buckets. Uh, we looted. Uh, hang on, okay, everything. Right. We looted the axe, uh, the magazine for the laser pistol, a uh, couple of random magazines, I think, but we did get the axe. I don't know where we get proficiencies in order to hit people. Um, you would have thought the assault class would have had uh, melee proficiency, but apparently they don't. Uses one hand pistol on axe time. Yeah, but they're not proficient, so I don't know where that comes from. Is melee proficiency like a really rare thing, possibly? Is it only... No, heavies can't use it either. Weird. Yeah, but I don't know how you get... Uh, um, melee proficiency. Because it's not showing as anyone's, like, skills. I mean, that'd be a bit weird if it was research. You have to research how to use an axe. That would be a bit crappy, wouldn't it? <laughs> how do you use axe? Grab with both hands and swing. You are now proficient. Oh, thanks. Right, so let's, uh, let's have a think here. So... Right, she can finally get her proficiency with... Wait, hang on. Return Fire might be a good one for her as well, actually. So that's not terrible. Because she seems to get shot at a lot. Um... Okay. Is that everybody? I think that was everybody. How many modern forces know how to correctly wield battle axes? I mean... I'm sure someone somewhere does. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were building food construction here, because I figured that was a good thing to have. Uh, I don't know what else to actually build. What else should we build? What are options we got here? Research lab! That seems like a really good idea. Um... Are we going to be out of power after that, though? That's the important question. That's a stall. Research lab seems a good idea. Oh, 17 out of 20. Okay, that's not so bad. I don't think they teach HEMA in any military. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably a fair point. Okay, right. So we need to go back to the base. Because... Um... Somebody got absolutely hammered. Who was it? It was the... It was Kava Koopa who got absolutely hammered and needs to go rest. Okay. So let's go back this way. Unfortunately, the Synedrians are going to have to... Oh, hello. If you are receiving this message, then respond on the secure channel I have provided. It is essential that the information I am about to give you is kept confidential. My name is not important now, but I am known among the pure as Subject 24, the 24th volunteer in a program set up by Tobias West that gave us hope. We had a solution. A solution? A secret program that would fix the world. And in the final moment, he backed down. Nothing prepared me for his treachery, his selfish cowardice. But his attempts to erase us have failed. Failed. 
It was known as Project Purity. One man's dream of replacing every inch of human flesh with neurally controlled prosthetics. When I volunteered for the project, I had nothing left. My entire family, entire family, had succumbed to the Pandora virus. I watched my wife through bulletproof glass as she slowly turned into an abomination. Abominations! They're everywhere, waiting, watching. I had nothing left to lose. Along with many other brave men and women, I put myself forwards. A lot was sacrificed. He pushed us to the limit. Dozens of us died or were left crippled. And we came close to success. The Juggernaut Warrior was the final design. More than a soldier. More than a human. With titanium skin impervious to infection. Perfectly pure. Pure! Pure as a smile in winter. As a human should be. There were problems. Total encapsulation created some. Mental instability, hallucinations, and dreams. Not everyone could take it, but there was no shortage of volunteers to take the program forwards. And then, Tobias West, the coward, the traitor, the small-minded charlatan, pulled the plug. Terrified of what he couldn't understand, the great leader ordered everyone involved with the project killed. Killed! Maybe he thought if he buried us, he'd bury the truth of his shame along with us. His shame! But we fought back. I and several others managed to escape. For years we remained silent, hiding, running, waiting for the right moment. The right moment. And that moment has come. Has come! Facing a losing battle against the Pandora virus, the weak-minded West has reactivated the old Project Purity facilities. And that makes him vulnerable. Phoenix, I am offering you an exchange. I know the location of the facility and how to get in. You have the firepower. The power! Hailstorms of fire and acid. Raid the lab and share the tech with us. All this time in hiding has left us damaged and in need of urgent repairs. If you succeed, we will both gain. Humanity will gain. We are the pure. The pure! We are the future. Help us, Phoenix. Help our species. Oh, okay. These guys sound a bit crazy. Okay, so now we have, like, the rogue Mechanicus. <laughs> the trouble is, if we support them, I imagine that's gonna piss off New Jericho. Okay. Yeah, do you know what it reminds me? Uh, has anyone ever played, um... Uh... Is it Soma? S-O-M-A? The the thing when they they clone people digitally? The, the digital clone is very vulnerable when it loses control of its emotions. That guy reminded me totally of that so every time he was having a moment everything glitched out it's like th that's what that remind me of oh there you go you know exactly what i'm talking about then up the cyborg up upgrades are pretty strong yeah well we i'm not say so, i'm not ruling it out We perform the raid on the new Jericho facility. Should we agree it will send us specific details, including the exact location of the facility and potentially security defenses? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So if we help him, that's going to piss off new Jericho. If we refuse to help him, that's going to piss off him. If we inform on him, that's going to probably close off the whole cybernetic thing entirely. And if we publicly denounce New Jericho's covert bionics program, that's going to make Jericho really fucking hate us. Uh... <laughs> As a new Jericho and I don't mind betraying them. I mean cybernetic shit. That could be good. Okay. 
so this is like we are we are like this is the first time i've run through this so i'm just like how do i get cool shit I think cybernetics is cool shit in the context of this, so we're going to agree to help him and see what happens. They're very tough to fight. Oh. oh, wait, is this like a... I wonder if this is like... Is this an in-story thing, or is this something we actually have to go and do? I imagine this is something you have to go and do. How cool being non-human. Oh, let's agree to help him. It'll be funny. This new oh, Jericho oh God. neural tech we've been hearing about. It sounds like a pretty cool technology, really. But has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? What, what is this neural tech he's talking about? I've got no idea. Uh, New Jericho is a society of laws and principles. There will be no abuse. Wink, wink. Um... I don't even know what he's talking about, to be honest. You think so? Because to me, it seems like these principles never find structural expression and are thrown aside all too easily when it's convenient. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe New Jericho is all you believe it to am, be. Am I going to do this so that everyone keeps hating me? Is this going to work? Oh! Diplomatic benefits. Research shared. Gorse technology. Nice! Despite the fact we were already retrofitting one of these. New Jericho aircraft technology. And we just agreed to screw these guys over. Oh my god. Okay, I kind of like the diplomatic fuckery in this. This is actually quite funny. Because publicly, Jericho are like, you are our friends! And privately, we've gone, we're going to go raid one of your facilities because it to get cool shit. Uh, time limited events. Oh shit. I've got a, I've got an injured guy. Oh balls. Shared research. Okay, that's cool. Hey Megato, thank you very much for the two hundred bits. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Ten days. Oh no, it's Fort Eleutheria. That's the place. That's the place we helped right in the beginning. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Uh, Pad Jericho. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, yeah. If Jericho think we're great and then we steal their stuff, it won't be so bad. <sighs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah. Okay. So what do we got here? Um. Wait, this doesn't have any time on it. Why does this not have any time on it? Do I get this instantly? Oh no, okay, now it takes a day. Okay, okay, right, hang on. Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh... Let's have a quick review here. Right, okay. Um... 12 hours. Sure. Uh, New Jericho aircraft, New Jericho gorse, yep. Better get Cavacupo up and copping. Yeah, I know, tell me about it, yeah. Uh, that's gonna take 13 hours, so actually that should be before that, that's fine, yeah. Uh, Minefragger, Arthron, Triton. Oh, shit. Nope. Uh, improved medkit. Uh, reverse engineer. Yeah, we'd already we'd already got the the gorse. We're already uh, reverse engineering the gorse thing, which is kind of funny. Okay, let's let's try that. Okay, so. Uh, 
Now, the really funny thing is, could we recruit... Oh, wait, hold on. We could recruit somebody... We could recruit one of the Synedrians to replace... Depending on how long the recovery time is, we could actually grab one of the opposing factions. Though I think they hate us. We could grab a Synedrian... Oh, it's a sniper. Okay. What else you got? Berserker? Wait, 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 wait. Is that the melee one? If the Berserker is the melee one, I'm fucking having one of those. Because we've got an axe. Um, and that would be funny. Though, the Disciples of Anu do hate us, though. Okay, I'm going to put a save in here because this is sped up. Ah, that's what we're gonna call it. There you go. Let's go. Let's see if we can recruit this nutter from Anu. Okay, this is where we get the other classes from. I'm guessing. Uh, oh no, not trade. Uh, Haven info. That's it. Isaac Sanchez cost thirty-one three six six three fifty. We can't afford it because we barely got any food. Ah, but I want one. That'll only leave us with like a hundred and twelve food. Oh, mind you, our food production thing's just about to be built. But then I'd have a nutter. What does this nutter look like? 220 hit points. Uh, Marduk's Fist, Disciples of Anu Warhammer. Which actually I think might be better than the thing we've got here. Aksu Helmet? Aksu Leg Armor, Aksu Bodily Armor. We might starve, but I'm having one. Oh, there's not enough space! Oh shit, there's not enough space in my aircraft? I thought I had, like... Oh, select deployment location of Phoenix Point. Yeah, that works. Because that's where we're heading anyway. Okay, cool. Activate a Phoenix base. You should consider activating another Phoenix base as soon as possible. Activate one near another mist outbreak and make sure you can build or repair a satellite up so you can scan areas covered by mist. This will locate havens potentially threatened by a Pandoran attack. Oh, how do I do that? Uh, because everyone else already owns most of these. I think our only option to activate another base was there, wasn't it? Fly to base, click button. Okay. Well, that's locked, so that... I guess we have to, like, analyze that one. This is what they said, that you can't do everything all at once and you will fail if you do. <laughs> now I'm kind of like, ah, oh god. So, but that looks like, is that not going to be another mission? Or is that just literally we go over there and, and take it? If it's go over there and take it, I'll divert and go do that now. Um, some of them are battles. Okay, well, I want to get my personnel sorted out first. So maybe also this, we have this raid that New Jericho are probably going to hate us for. Um, so let's let's go there, I think. Right, okay. Um, so what we probably want to do is put Cavi in Phoenix Point. Which presumably means I can only assume they start resting. And take this crazy person who is wearing a breath mask and wielding a hammer. Um, that's as our new friend. Because why wouldn't we? Melee weapons and handguns. Okay, so this is very... This is faction specific. Okay, right. 
That makes sense. Okay, how does this hammer... 160... 160, 20, 20... 1, 2, 1, 2... 1, 2... Okay, I think the axe is better. Like, legit, I think the axe is better. Uh, do we have a spare pistol we could give him? I suppose we could make a pistol. Okay, I have my own axe-wielding mad bastard. This is this is great. It does look lucky raves, yeah. Accuracy plus 10%. He's also a hunter. Oh god, he's a lunatic. Breathe mist. Consume all mist within a three-tile radius. Each two- He huffs the gas! He huffs the gas and it makes him happy. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. Um. Amusingly, he doesn't have to be wearing the helmet in order to huff the gas. Uh, luckily, his accuracy, his 10% accuracy cancels out his armor thing. So that's actually, that's actually quite handy. Is the club one or two-handed? I think they're both two-handed. Hands... Oh, no! Uh, you're right, the hammer is one hand. They're both one-handed. Holy shit! That's actually pretty good. Dual wield? Can we can we do that? No, I think it has to be either or. I mean, he can switch over to the hammer. He can carry both of them. But it seems a bit a bit daft when I could give him a pistol and some ammo or something. Rick Sanchez moved on from booze to something stronger, apparently. Uh, okay, so what I want is a cipher. Which won't cost as much, I don't think. How long is it going to take? Ten hours. Cool. Um... Okay, the, 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 the disciples of Anu are handling themselves, so that's not a problem. That sounded vaguely rude, but you know what I meant. Uh, a med kit on him? Oh, that's a good point. That's a very, very good point. Yeah, because he's going to get shot at a lot, isn't he? I'll put it... Uh, I'll put it in his ready. And this is, this is kind of nuts. Oh, okay, that's already on the go. That's good. Um... Right, I assume because he's in Phoenix Point and he's resting, that should be okay, I think? Is that how that works? I'm assuming that's how that works. Yeah, no, medkit's good shout. Plus four passions of stamina recovery. I thought we made the thing that re re increased health, but apparently we didn't. Oh, okay. Is that armor any good? Uh, good question. Uh, armor 14. Oh, it gives him speed. He's got a speed of 18. He's like fucking lightning. Which is kind of what you want for a... Because if you note it, uh, when we got, like, smashed up by him, he, like, travelled quite a distance and still had enough action points to belt us in the face with an axe. So I'm tempted to leave him with the armour he came with, I'm going to be honest. Right, let's get everyone uh, relatively sorted out, I think. Could give him a big helmet. Um, that would knacker his accuracy, which I don't want to do. Um, because the stuff he's wearing right now, minus five. Uh, right, he's got minus ten accuracy wearing that. And he's got that, which gives plus ten accuracy. So effectively that cancels out his, his armor thing. Um... We do actually have a regular New Jericho... 
No, that's minus 10 stealth, minus 4 accuracy. Uh, that's a Phoenix Assault Helmet that does nothing. So what does he get from this? Willpower. Uh, it gives him willpower. Okay, it gives him willpower, speed, and perception. I, I want to try it. I want to see what happens. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> It'll be fine. We can, we can go and recruit some other nutbag from somewhere. Oh my god. I'm really enjoying this, actually. This is actually... All of a sudden, everything's, like, opened up, and it's a bit crazy. Right, let's get everyone healed up. Okay, so that's everyone that's on the manticore. Okay, Cavi... Uh, Cavi, Cavi Point Man is actually healing up by himself. So, okay, I think we'll leave them there for now, because they're a bit broken. That's a good point. I can't recruit anybody either. That's a very good point. Is our, is our food thing... Okay, our food production's nearly, nearly built, actually. Uh, yeah, we might be starving. That's why I put that manual save in, just in case we starved. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to take a break there. Uh, and then we're going to go raid this Jericho base and see how utterly terrible that's going to go. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put another save in here. Uh, this is also fine. There we go. And if push comes to shove, we'll, we'll go back to that one. Because I'm not afraid of uh, saves coming. But yeah, we're gonna have a break, and because uh, I need to die, need of a drink. Um, and we'll catch you guys uh, in about ten minutes or so. So see you in a bit. With the headphones. Okay, let's go back this way. Ooh, what the hell's that? Oh, it's got tracking! Oh, it's got tracking! That's rude. Oh, and it's got a shield? No, wait, I can do no damage to it. What? What? What is this? I'm perplexed. Oh! I, I have to hit the ball? I'm playing tennis! I have to play tennis with it! Oh, that's funny as fuck! I I have to play tennis? That's great. No, the regular attack was doing it. Oh, boys. You, you picked the wrong time there. Funnily enough, grenades don't care about grazing hits. So, uh, that works. Uh, wow, in fact, you could do that a second time. Can he really do that a second time? How many of those has he got left? Three. Fuck it. Totally worth it. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a war crime. <laughs> I don't know, that's just, that's just hit me funny. I don't know why. Why throw one gas grenade when you can throw two? Oh. Uh, okay, this is a... Oh, he's... Okay, he's got a shield, but that's fine. I've, I've, got, I've got tentacles. Hello, sir. Can I introduce you to our lord and saviour? Oops. He's not dead. Fair play. He's very not dead, actually. Oh, God. Oh, I have to fight him in this room. Okay, luckily he's not. Oh, hang on. I had to hack my out the door. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Now he's dead. Oh! Oh my god! I hit him so hard, his... his... Oh dear. Be careful with your tentacles, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise this could happen to you too. I marked it just up the rod. Alright. Oh, that's a, that's an entire 
Convo not convo, oh, but yeah, yep, that's place. a that's a, that's a posse. Yep. Shall I start minigunning? Uh, you want to start medigunning? I can... Oh, I can't. oh, that was me! Sorry! I deployed my drone and it killed the helicopter! I forget you threw it up! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. That's entirely on me. <laughs> Any landing dirt you walk away from, I guess. In trouble, honestly. The bloody names of some of these systems are amazing. And the fact there's no hope for me to actually pronounce them. What was that noise? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, is that like hello in rock person? What the fuck was that? <laughs> that sounded like the start of a Disney movie or something. What the hell? Uh, form non-aggression pact. Okay, so the Bin Penchan really like us. I mean, what? Come on. Holy shit, time to go. <laughs> where, where am I extracting to honor? Because I need, I need, oh, oh god, everything's exploding. Tremors detected. Well, yeah, no shit. We just introduced a black hole into the middle of the planet. How do we get out of here? Okay, we're going that way. Oh my god, there's fucking shriekers! Are you fucking kidding me? What? This is level one! We're not supposed to have shriekers! What the actual Christmas fuck? That's not right! Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Whose silly idea was this? Fuck me. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, hmm. He should not survive that. This enemy soldier is pinned down. Hello. Oh, I shot that guy instead. Oh, he broke my Overwatch. That's rude. A hundred and four? I'm gonna make it. Tell my agent, release the nudes. A hundred and four? What the actual fuck? Well, uh, who's got the next best uh, skill other than Fox? Because she's the one that. Well, that's that was that was not ideal. That was not ideal. Well, uh, uh, no, no angle. Right. Let's just uh, park just just park road. in front of it. Yeah, that works too. Oh, I nearly just minigunned a village by accident. That, that would have been I mean, there. the village is shooting at us. Well, that's true. Oh, piss. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> that ambulance was stopping for no one! Hot damn! I didn't realise it, it was that close, actually. I didn't realise the physics was on its side. What on earth? It had the mass advantage. It really did. What the actual... That shouldn't have <laughs> happened. Oh well. Points for it's effort. Like a helicopter. Uh, yeah, we have to. We have to just um, uh, talk about dismantling them because we got. I decided I don't like being a religious person. It's it's not fun. Our uh, presence in the galaxy has not gone by. On oh, they have a little heart. Oh no. Oh, okay, we are back. Um, right, everyone's healed up. That needs healing up. I am starting to wonder maybe I should have tried this on Rookie rather than Veteran, but, uh... <laughs> it'll be fine. Right, okay. Thank you, Baboozle. The one thing I have realised is that it's entirely possible that these Berserker guys are way more effective against Pandorans than they are people. Uh, but I don't want to go in under strength, so... <laughs> We're just gonna have to see if we can make it work.
Hey, Beat Six, how's it going? Clip of the Stellar Star of Names, uh, Gorillo Bat. Yes, Gorillo Bat, Stone Bane, Stone Bone, whatever his name was. Yeah, I can't remember. Hope you're doing well, Beat Stakes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go and try and do this raid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Subject 24 has provided us the location of the New Jericho Research Facility. Conducting experiments in human augmentation. Security is likely to be light. The goal is to get the research data stored within the facility. There is no need to eliminate all the defending security personnel. I mean, unless we have to shoot them because they're shooting us. I'm better instead of a few weeks ago. Oh, oh dear. And I'm not, not oh dear, you're feeling... <laughs> oh dear, you weren't feeling well. Rather than, oh dear, you're feeling well. That came out slightly backwards. It's like, I'm feeling better. Oh dear. No, that was like, oh dear, that you'd been unwell. You, you get the gist. I mean, I hope you get the gist. But anyway. <laughs> okay. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, she says squad slots use six of eight. Oh, manticore, six of six. Okay. That's what confused me earlier. Because I thought we could fit eight people in here, and you can't. You can only fit six people in manticore. Probably need an upgrade somewhere. Okay. You can only recover items carried by evacuating soldiers or vehicles. Makes sense, because this is a raid. This is get in, get out. Okay. Oh, I have bad vibes about this. Uh, inpatient treatment on my depression. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, there's quite a few people in my family who are no stranger to that themselves. So, uh, yes, glad you're feeling better. Class Berserker. Here we go. Vicious melee orientated warriors that are capable of using their pain to gain an advantage in battle. Okay, then. So, what have we actually got to do here? Steel research. What, the, this is the research, I'm guessing? Okay, that's the research. So, where's the door? There's the door. Okay, so I figure... Where's... So our new guy is the speedy boy. Where's he? Do you know what we didn't do? We didn't wait for this guy to uh, get a pistol. Is it one of those things the universe is obliged to show you? Yeah, probably. So he's like stupid fast, so we should probably have him up front, because he might be quite useful in this. With his little axe waving around. Uh, 2C upgrade available at the base. I think unlock tech for the Jericho dropship. Yes, I think the Jericho dropship must just be... I just noticed something. He has less armor than the sniper does. But it said something about using pain as a weapon. That's also reinforcements. That's... Oh... Oh, this is gonna be spicy. Okay, where's our where's our X fill? There. Okay. This is gonna be spicy. Okay, so we need somebody to watch our six while we're doing this. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, the Jericho dropship is slower. Ah, okay. Right, I'm thinking maybe tucking in behind here and overwatching that in case somebody comes out of it, <laughs> which somebody might. I'm on the move. Oh, I wonder if this was a good idea. This feels like it was a very bad idea. Right. Oh, having said that, the heavy is also very fast. So maybe we should do like the uh, heavy and the berserker as a bit of a tag team here. Yeah, I thought he had more armor, to be honest. I, I honestly thought he had more armor. Uh, but it turns out he doesn't, so that's bad. Here I am. Let's do this. Strap more seats to the plane, yeah. Let's cause his personnel in the base, at which point we could be in trouble. Right, sniper. Sniper on a box, apparently. I didn't know that we could do that, but apparently we can. 
Um, fuck it, just stay where you are, I guess. Nothing's getting past me. Right. Uh, maybe go in the middle. Or up here, maybe. Oh, wow, he can actually go further than that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, go for it. He can nearly travel as far as the heavy does with his jetpack. That's that's pretty good going. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, we've actually got somebody there. Acid Gators. A new Jericho Accord called the Acid Gators. The leader is Kenzo. Using the tactic Blood Frenzy. When any high-ranking character dies, allies gain Frenzy status. Oh, goody. Oh, yep, there's a guy just inside the doorway. Makes sense. I was overwatching the wrong side. I was overwatching the wrong spot. That's not great. Okay. Uh... Hmm, that puts a slightly different spin on things. Uh, can you not see them from there? No, you can't. That's very awkward. Right, I think if you went there, and then... Oh, uh, no, that's a, that's a terrible overwatch, because there's lots of things blocking it. Okay, that ain't going to work so well, is it? Uh, oopsie. Right. Uh, how much does it cost to hit somebody? Two action points. Okay. So you have to be within your blue thing in order to hit somebody. Hmm. Awkward. This has already gone slightly wrong. Uh, also appears Omar has... Oh. He can't get through there. That's remarkably awkward. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks, Math! Yes, I, I bought myself some nice non-alcoholic cider. Which is still very tasty. Okay, I'm gonna have a think about this, because this has got very busy. I was busy watching my six, and I was kind of like, oh, they've come at me from the front. Well, tits. Um... Yeah, I don't think she has does not have a good line of sight, like, at all there, I don't think. Um, but we may as well, just for the hell of it. Right, Omar can't fucking move. Also, he's out of willpower, so he can't use his jetpack. Okay, Omar is a bit of a burden, I gotta say. He can use his jetpack once, and then he's too fucking tired. There's no valid target? Oh, is that because I'm under a roof? That's because I'm under a roof. Also, I'm under under my roof. Oh, I'm under a roof, which means you can't use the jetpack, which makes perfect sense when you think about it. Oh crap! I was hoping for a speedy exit, a speedy entrance, and a speedy exit. This is not this is not the case. I have goofed. Um. Shit. Right. Can we hit the guy from here? Ziggy Greenhorn. Oh yeah, these guys are actually quite tough. Oh boy. Oh, I damaged his gun. That's something. I didn't miss him. Oh no, no. Popped him the second time. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> this has gone very badly. Oh, man. I thought we could just go around the corner here. I didn't realize that was actually blocked off. Now, obviously, Zack can't do Overwatch because he doesn't want... He doesn't have a pistol. Uh, he only has an axe. So, if I run him in here, he's going to get absolutely fucking lit up by this guy. Um, which is bad. Don't overthink it. Oh, I'm totally overthinking it. This is, this is, uh... 
how do we say suboptimal? Also, uh, my great experience of XCOM games makes me wonder if those, um, anything over here actually explodes. I kind of hope it doesn't. Also, we have grenades. I have to remember that. How far can I throw one of those? Check this out. Oh, pretty far, actually. Uh, so hang on, how many action points I've got left? Two, which is going to mean all my action points gone. Uh, but it's going to piss these guys off, so let's do that. That is a pretty far yeet, actually. Also, if we break our guns, I might feel slightly less bad about doing things to them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how are we going to do this? I mean, if we can't walk through here, then presumably that the bad guy can't. So if I go here... And then... What if I overwatched in this direction? Because that's probably the only way, way that guy can get through. That might actually work. Emphasis might. Uh... Can't really see them from there. Oh, he can actually get a lot closer. Okay. Come get some. Come get some. Probably not going to do anything. I was correct. How do we so suboptimal? This has gone to shit. Yes. Pretty much. Now, the question is, what the fuck do I do with Sanchez? Because... I feel Sanchez might be the weak link here. Uh, we should probably... If we ran him round here... How far can he actually go? If we ran him round here, he might be in a good spot to help out with this other guy. Let's do that. I've literally brought an axe to a gunfight. That is what I have done. Nice, no cigar. Oh, she's got return fire! I completely forgot about that. That's nice. Totally forgot about that. Oh. Oh! 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 Oh, ladies and gentlemen, and others. Uh, we may have just been gifted a comedy moment. I believe I might have pulled off a bit of a masterstroke. Uh, wait, now is that red for he's going to shoot me? Or red for I can hit him? I'm assuming that's red for I can hit him, but it might be an overwatch shot. I don't know. Well, it says he's, co he's facing that way, so if I come up beside him, that should work. Let's try it. Yep, that worked. Right. Strike. Here we go. I have disabled this. He's nearly dead in one shot. Holy crap. And in fact, I have bash, which means I can finish him off. Uh, and obviously because that's a melee weapon, uh, that didn't actually, uh, break it. So then we probably run around the back here and grab the stuff. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. Uh, yes. Okay, that's one. That's one. So far, so good. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, they're all panicking. Uh, the reason they're panicking is they just witnessed a mist-huffing, axe-wielding lunatic uh, jump out from the shadows and beat the holy crap out of their friend. And they probably heard it on the intercom, um, which is probably why they're a little bit unsettled. Uh, so let's uh, see if we can make them even more unsettled. Uh, 
That might do nothing. Oh, it did something. We can do it again. Okay, he's not feeling very well. Uh, also, I have grenades. Completely forgot about that. Um... Oh, I forgot the rename Quinn list. Sorry. Remind me if we're successful in this. I need to do that because I forgot. Which is why I did actually put up the redemption list uh, earlier on. Um, Which that's not actually on. Why is that not? Oh, there you go. Quinn list. There we go. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Yeah, yeah. I think I think keeping the grenades is a good idea. Yeah. Oh, he's still not dead. He might die in the next turn. This guy could die in this turn, if we're really lucky. Like so. Um, and she can go into Overwatch for one point, so I don't think that's going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, oh, and we had Sophia, who hasn't actually done anything yet. Acquiring target. There we go. Okay, uh, uh, did I forget to equip her with a med kit again? Oh, it's just, no, she threw a grenade, didn't she? Okay, that's fine. She's not actually that hurt yet. Right, so this is a free move, and I must remember the free move does not give you warning uh, when, you're, when you're clicking. It doesn't give you the confirm, which is a mistake I made last time. Oh, wow, she's still got two points left after that. Shit, okay. Uh, right, so we've got no idea where anyone else would be. I'm not too fussed about getting their stuff. I mean, we could, actually. Um, since there's no one else actually active, we could go see what they've got. Heading out. Probably a bad idea. Alright, New Jericho. New Jericho. Are we good? Oh, no. Oh, shit! There's a sniper! Son of a bitch! That's okay. We did not see him. Okay, note to self, there is a sniper. Um, Right, where was the other stuff? Okay, the other stuff's in here. Okay, we should be able to do this, because we need three, is it, I think? Uh, why can't I move? Why? Oh! He's hacking. Oh, hacking takes time. Okay. Oh, that's not great. Okay, right. Let's not worry about the loot then. Um, right, hacking actually takes time. Targeting. All right, what'd that look like? Not great. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway. He is panicking though, which is which is good. Um Right, Maniac Axe Guy can't get up there, but I mean he could get really close and then just start laughing, I suppose. Um I mean he shouldn't be able to see him. So if I got close enough I could get up the get up the ladder and then chop him, uh which would be quite funny. Let's risk it. Let's see what happens. Oh, enemy spotted? Uh, yes. No? Wait. Oh, we got a... Fuck, there's a heavy. Oh, boy. This could get problematic. Are we going to be able to hold these guys off while we do this? This, this could have been a very poor choice. Oh, right on the noggin. Oh, I could have used armor break. 
it. Ah! I keep forgetting everyone's special skills. Helltivers 2 of Integrated XCOM 2. Yeah, something like that. Uh, right, she's got zero AP, but she can still move. Uh, yeah, don't want to move into line of sight of that guy. Move out of line of sight. How's that for an idea? Right. You can't do anything much because you're hacking. Uh, Kareet and Bob can shoot this guy. There's a voice pack in the workshop. Oh, there's a voice... Right, now the trouble is, I was like, oh, mods. I don't know what mods will, will mess with uh, this overhaul mod. So I'm a little bit worried about adding extra things to it, I'll be honest. Okay, I did nothing. <laughs> I literally did nothing. Uh, okay, yeah, that's Overwatch, because if he comes closer, that might work. I'm on Overwatch. You're still hacking. Uh, you can't do an awful lot. Uh, okay, we're going to go with Operation Try to Distract Sniper with Crazy Person and see how that works. Um, oh, he can go, oh, wow, he can go really fucking far. Okay. Oh, he can actually get inside the bunker? Jesus Christ, okay. Sure. Right, is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Oh, no, no, we got quintessential. Uh, I think I'm more worried about that heavy than I am that, that guy in the tower, to be honest, but... Uh... Yeah, he is speed. He is literal speed. I hope this is all worth it. Probably need to get a little bit closer for that. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, he came down! He came down! Oh no! Taking care of business. Have you heard of the non-aggression principle? Yeah. Didn't think that one through. Didn't think that one through. This is ah. Land. Ah. Right. Okay. So. So what is this thing when he says they were saying they can use pain? Because he's got a lot now. Right. Luckily, I think he can heal himself. And then he can take an axe to the guy, I think. Did he just one-shot him? I think he did. <laughs> oh, could you imagine that? Jumping down the tower unloading on this maniac and he just turns around and says i don't care you've just disabled my head uh yeah okay right let's use armor break this time around which apparently involves yelling at your rifle oh uh, wait, can she use her... Oh, she can't direct. Does armor break work? Oh, next fire. Oh, she can do that multiple... Okay. We... Apparently you can do that multiple times. I didn't realize this. So she could do armor break and take a pistol shot as well. Acquiring targets. So what does that look like? Not great, but if... Yeah, fuck it. Do you know what? Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, me no need brain. Me have axe. Yeah. One minute sprays with goo. I'm ready now, bonk. Yeah, exactly. Ready to fight. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's, it's, it's one of the guys from Mad Max. Yeah. Witness me. Not bad. 
Okay, it's not looking well. That's good. Right, have we successfully hacked? Uh, is, is that successful? It says steel research. Why is the symbol still there, though? Uh, does that just mean I've stolen it? I think that means I've stolen it. Okay. Oh no, wait, that's still there. Wait, what? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. It doesn't take much. Right, we're gonna double check this guy's gun. Uh, might not work. It worked. Out of ammo reload. Okay, reload costs nothing. Uh, we have a free move. Uh, I just... That was a misclick. I need to forget... I forget about that. Let's go back where we came. Never mind. Right. Uh, okay, where's... Uh, wait, so this looks like... Oh, so that's not active. Okay, the, bl the blue bit is, is when it's active. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so Axe Guy can't steal the research on account of the fact he's now got a massive headache. Um, where should we go? I mean, should we head... No, I can't, because uh, Quintessential's in the way. Right, if we... Yeah, we just head in that direction. Like the wind. Like the wind. Uh, then remind ourselves where our evac point is. Our evac point is there. Okay, good. I was elected to bleed, not to read. <laughs> yeah. I think we were very lucky he didn't die. I can only assume that later on in his skill tree, he kind of gets, like, I don't know, stuff that mitigates being shot. <laughs> just, just thinking about that. Right, uh... So I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we've got the research covered. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the guys, start, like, covering off the evac area. Because I think we're obviously going to get more people. And sort of go from there, I guess. Oh, okay. There's, there's one that's turned up. Okay, now that's something I like. So... When the reinforcements come in, I don't think they get to act immediately. Which is good, because if they did, that would kind of suck. Yeah, I, I imagine he probably will be like crazy, crazy chem injector guy, probably. Um, okay, Omar's picking up. In fact, we can get we can get multiple research here. This is this is we can get all the research. We can get four. Okay. Providing we can take care of this guy. Right. How much willpower have I got left? Seven. That costs the entire turn. That'll drop us down to four, which I'm willing to get. How much armor has this guy got? Gee, maybe that's not worth it. Let's see. Oh, that's the wrong gun. Let's have a look. Okay, he does have a decent amount of armor on. I mean, let's go for it. I love the fact that her that ability is just her yelling at the rifle. Not like loading a special round or something. It's literally just yelling at the rifle. Uh, did that actually hit? I hit his gun! Okay, that's kind of funny. I hit his gun. I did, like, 90 damage to his gun, so if we hit his gun a second time, that's probably going to be a bad day for that. Alright, you're still hacking. That's fine. Uh... It's it's true. I mean, the likelihood of us hitting that a second time is pretty low, but I, I'm, go I'm, I'm willing to take a shot. No, never mind. Right, is everyone else hacking? Oh no, we got Sophia as well. Moving to coordinates. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh! That 
That was a lot. That was a fucking good shot as well. Jesus. Okay, so he wasn't in. He was not in range of anything there. That was bad. Right, where's Sophia? She's the. She's the. Uh... Okay, we're gonna have to get her on healing duty. Should have done that in the previous turn, because that would have been more efficient. Providing assistance. Right, okay, so we need to run like fuck now, basically. The thing is, I don't think the Overwatch triggered at all. Uh, because it triggers on, um... Uh... Being shot at. So, I think he just wasn't in it. Ready to fire. Right, how much willpower she's got left? Four. Right, I don't want to deplete all of her willpower. Let's try for his noggin. Nice! That was his torso, but that's okay too. That was a miss. Moving to position. Yeah, but I've had people... Oh! I get it. Right, so if someone's behind cover and they move out to shoot, that counts as a that counts as moving, I guess. Ha. Huh. Yeah, that's a good point actually. Oh, that's a lot. That is torso a bit fucked. Uh, is that worth taking another shot? I think it is. Targeting. Okay, I think the bleed's gonna get him. Yep. Also, I think I broke his assault rifle. Which is, uh, even funnier. Wait, hang on. Uh, has Crazy Axe Boy got the research? Yes, he has. Right, now we have to run. Now we have to run very fast. Using orc logic. Yeah, I think she is. Yeah, if I yell at my gun loud enough, it makes it better. Yeah. Right, we're kind of going to sort of head in this direction. But we got to wait for the speedy boy to catch up. Wow, we are all going to need a damn good nap after this because everyone has been injured in some way, shape, or form. Uh... Yeah, let's do something like that. Enemy in visual Son of a bitch! Where's that? Oh, right at the back. Oh, that's bad. Well, I mean, it's not that bad, actually. We can probably, at that range, we can probably choose to ignore him. Heading up. Right, so we have another guy in the corner, which is which is fine. Oh god, no, Quinlist is dead. Quinn Essential's still there as well. Oh shit. Okay, we're a little spread out. That was not the greatest idea I've had. In before he snipes someone in the head. Yeah, let's hope not. Yeah, we may actually have to take uh, defensive positions against that because that's that's bad. Um, I can't reach there. I think better to be in cover than not in cover, to be honest. Alright, is there everybody? Okay, let's hope this guy doesn't absolutely ruin us. Okay, that means he can't shoot, which is good. Or at least he shouldn't be able to shoot. That's fine, that's fine. That is fine. I mean, honestly, for two pins, I can always go over there and hit him with the axe, but I'm not going to do that. Um, okay. Wait, hang on. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's fucking motor here. 
We might have actually uh, jinked him with any luck. <sighs> All right, Speedy Boy. Yeah. In fact, Speedy Boy, hell, Speedy Boy could grab some loot for us on the way, but way past. <laughs> just, just to put it, insult to injury. Running. Uh, you've got no action points left. What is it? Oh. A new Jericho Gorse Assault Rifle. That's worth picking up. We're going to grab that. Fuck it hell. Um, okay, so we need to be a little bit careful because this guy may now come around the corner. Well, how come we can see him? I'm intrigued. Guy with a hammer makes engine revving noises. Yeah, exactly. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually recover his willpower because he does not have an awful lot. Just a moment. And then I think the rest of us are kind of going to keep heading towards there. I don't think overwatching at this range is going to help in the slightest. Um, I also need to double check who's if anyone's got any spare med kits, because I think we might be out. Oh no, he's got one. Okay, the only person I might put on Overwatch is Irina, but then I don't think... I don't think a line of sight's great. No, that's blocked. Eh, it might be worth it. But probably not. Moving now. Yeah, he's miles away until he isn't, because he's got a jump pack. So he can't jump and shoot. That is the that is the quintessential issue I have with the heavies. It's very hard to jump and shoot with them. Actually, it's impossible to jump and shoot with them. And there's another guy there. Okay, that's fine. Right. Okay. Um. Honestly, we're gonna grab this because that is a freebie, and then we're gonna run like hell. Probably for the sake of one hex staying in cover. Right. Okay. Uh, there's another guy coming up there. Okay, that's fine. Let's use jetpack control to get behind here. Totally get the other loot. I mean, we could. Let's rock. Um, another gorse rifle, another med kit. Okay, we got the. Yeah, oh, uh, the med kit will leave. Here comes the phoenix. <laughs> Here comes the phoenix. Okay. Um, this is a complete long bomb, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, I can. I got this covered. I really hope this was worth it, because if it wasn't, this is going to be a bit embarrassing. <sighs> Make it is expensive. Yeah, but it'll slow him down if he's over encumbered. It'll slow him down. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna break. We're gonna, we're gonna make a break for it. I think. Right, we're good, we're good, we're mostly good. Okay. It's a long bomb, and it's a hit! Only on his assault rifle, though. Which actually isn't awful. Uh, do you know what? I think we could take him. Uh, or do we have to? Right, furthest away is Quintless. Okay, so we're going to have to at least dig in for another turn. Okay, that's fine. Like the wind. Well, that is fine. Right, okay. And Crazy Axe Boy. Oh my god, I wonder if New Jericho is going to be so pissed about this. Right, um... She's a little exposed. 
So if I shoot, she's not going to be able to move very far, but then she's the best shot against that, to be honest. Also, if I break his rifle, it went, but then again, that could delay us. Will that delay us for another turn? That will delay us for another turn. Ugh. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her towards. I'm gonna get her here. I think. And then I just think we'll just we'll just tap him with the others and see what happens. Oh wow, you're not gonna be able to see him at all. Oh, he can't see them. Oh, okay, that's quite funny. We lost six Doomsday Preppers in this raid. We're so angry. <laughs> Oh, also, we got that heavy in there. Gotta remember he's in there. Um, Yeah, let's jump the barricade here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, in fact, we could jump the barricade here, but just not extract him. Uh, wait. Is that not what the extraction zone is? Oh, he's one hex outside the extraction zone. That's fine. Right. I'm going to overwatch here, just in case he's dumb enough to get that close. Uh, Sophia's going to take a shot anyway. And that is probably not going to do an awful lot at all. Nope. That made him go, ah, that's what that did. Uh, she's at full willpower, so for the sake of argument, I'm going to put her in an overwatch as well. And if this guy turns the corner, it's going to probably be not much, but that's fine. Winged him. Uh, his assault rifle is probably nearly broke at this point. Ow! Somebody got their head disabled. That's not good. I don't know what's going on there. That's fine. He can't do anything. Right. Are you bleeding to death? That's very inconsiderate of you. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Right. I think we're leaving. I hope we can now leave. I can find cover. We are going to need some serious R&R &R out of it after this, dear God. I really hope this was worth it. Oh. Legging it good and proper. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Nelly. They are going to be so pissed. They are going to be so pissed. Fast way to re your researchers steal it from other people. That's quite funny. It is right to be taught even by an enemy, even if they are cowards and traitors. The research we obtained is more than a set of upgrades. It is the first step in reclaiming the planet. Humanity will be born again, and this time, the cure will show the path. Okay, thanks, Pure. New Jericho is not happy with our raid in a clandestine research facility, but we may be able to repair some of the damage to our relations. A lot depends on how we describe what happens. Sometimes words are more important than actions. So what was it? A righteous purge of dangerous technology? An exercise in civic duty with unfortunate casualties? What was what? Deny, deny, deny. <sighs> so knowing what I know about New Jericho, if I said a righteous purge of dangerous technology, no, they were working on it clandestinely. What if I said an exercise in civic duty with unfortunate casualties? I mean, that sounds like bureaucracy speaking, doesn't it? Oh, 
definitely not the third one. I'm going to try this one. <gasps> it... No, that didn't work. That's fine. Oops. Oh, summon New Jericho justifying our raid as a legitimate police action against extraneous rogue elements and some Sinedrian are criticizing for overreach. West is naturally upset and we get... Okay, okay. Minus six isn't so bad. But New Jericho likes Sinedrian. Sinedrian likes New Jericho. New Jericho hates us. Sinedrian... Yeah, like, that, that, that could have been... That could have been worse. Uh, replace the grenade. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Right, now everyone is absolutely buggered, so we need to go have a nap-nap at base, I think. Right, let's have a look at the research here. Oh, we have bionics. Basic bionic technology. Nice. That is going to take forever. Um, there's not much point reverse engineering the bulldog because we're about to un we're going to unlock the gorse thing anyway. What is Marduk's fist? Oh, I can reverse engineer a hammer. Disciples of Anu Warhammer. I mean, mass producing our own warhammers, which aren't as good as the axes. It has to be said. Congratulations, you nearly united everyone against you. Yeah, it's very true, actually. Um, I think we'll tuck Bionics in at the back. That's going to take forever. In fact, all of these things are never going to happen if we keep putting stuff in front of it, but... Eh. Right, reverse engineering I'm not too worried about. In fact, I'm, not, I'm going to leave those there, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Right. Uh, yeah, everyone's fucked. <sighs> Jericho Whip is still 15. Yeah, they're st they still like us more than most. I think that was worth it. I reckon I reckon the, the Bionics will give us a bit of an edge. I want to quickly have a look and see how good these Gorse Rifles are compared to the ones we've got. Um, Here we go. Damage 40, Shred 2, Burst 4, Effective Range 22. Damage 30, Shred 1, Burst 6, 20... Oh, hello. They are way better. Uh, we only have... We don't have many magazines for that, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you, our gaming. I totally forgot. I've got it in my queue. Oh, lordy, he coming. Yeah, yeah, we got to rename the uh, Berserker guy. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, right, what was the exact uh, exact phrasing here? Uh, oh lordy, he coming. Right, okay. There we go. Uh, wait, did I did I do that one hundred percent correct? Let me double check. Oh lordy, he coming. There we go. In fact, can we get can we get the apostrophe in there? Oh look at that. Oh god, that that bloody hell. That's the console thing. Let's try that again. <laughs> that that is that is that is the console thing. Yeah, that's 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 we don't no no interested in console. Can we can we turn that back off again? There you go. That's better. Bamboozle is the sniper, yep, that's doable. Oh, no, no, you're still, it is double italicized. Uh, not italicized, capitalized. I knew that. There we go. Right. Uh, don't think anyone leveled up, did they? Uh, let's just have a quick look here. No. 10 SP, 20 SP. Oh, honestly, this guy's willpower. Jesus. We're going to have to just keep... In fact, honestly, I think that's worth another one. There you go. He's now, got, now in double figures now. That's good. 49. What do you got? That's only die hard. That's not super interesting. 
Um, what was this one? Gunslinger. Could be handy in certain situations. Shoot handgun three times at 50%. I mean, that's a coin toss whether you'd hit anything. Oh, Lord, are you breaking things? Yeah. Uh, I might hold off on that one, actually. I don't I don't think that's great. Uh, despite the fact he cut some guy in half. Oh, no, there you go. He's only got... He only needs 10, 10 XP to level up. Let's have a look at this tree, actually. Uh, dash. Okay, that's action point one, willpower three. Okay, that's nice. Uh, breathe mist. We knew about that one. Close quarters evade. That's that's what he needs. Gun Carter. Shoot your handgun for free. Did we, weren't we manufacturing him a handgun? I'm sure we were. Oh yeah, we haven't actually got around to it yet. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's have a look at this gorse thing. So we've got two of those. How many mags have we got? Oh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, we got five mags? Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Oh, that's a good point. Why, why am I not, not just sorting these with the right ammo? That would make sense. Equilibrium the movie, yes. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit, yeah. As much as I like that um as much as i like that movie that movie ignores um a thing that's called center of mass um because yeah <laughs> but don't think about it too hard right who else should we give the other good assault rifle to that's either Kareet and Bob, who's the grenade guy. Oh, let's give it a quintessential. All right, do we get a free? Oh, okay, so it automatically takes it. Okay. I thought that movie was shit. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad, but then I watched it a long time ago. It's not the best. Uh, but yeah, it honestly, it kind of forgets that the center of mass is actually a thing. And that would completely have, have buggered up the guy in his magic bullet dodging thing. It's a movie, it ignores all sorts of things. That's true. Okay, we're going to save because holy crap, that worked. Holy crap, that worked. There we go. Okay, uh, we're all going to have to go back to Phoenix Base for a nap. Those guys are handling the Pandora and shouldn't have worried about that at all. Not an issue. Right. Eraser the movie. Oh, God. Yeah, that was uh interesting concept, that one. Yeah. Oh, Mist Sentinel. Okay. Uh, this is the giant jellyfish thing we've shot a couple of times. Uh, mist coming from the sea. Okay, what does that give us? New items. Oh, new items for manufacturing available. Lazarus Shield. Phoenix Scarab Hull Upgrade. It gives it stealth. That's nice. I approve. And they should have said, this has guns in it. <laughs> Honestly, when I watched it the first time, I mean, it's pretty old now, isn't it? Was it, was that 2009? No, it's, it's older than that, I think, isn't it? Um, And then, yeah, I got a bit older and then sort of like became a bit of an armchair guy as far as ballistics and stuff went. And I'm just like, he, he, he could totally, if they just aimed for center of mass, they'd, they'd kill the cleric guy every single time, but you know, where's the fun in that? Okay. Uh, right, we're still patching ourselves up here. Oh god, the um, the berserker guy got absolutely shit-canned. That's actually quite funny. That's why none of his uh, none of his stamina was there. 
Okay, we're plus one in food. That's good. That is good. That means we're not going to starve. It means we can't recruit anyone too rapidly. Um... Oh, exchange one tech for five food. Or we could nip over to the place we just raided and uh, trade them for food. <laughs> just to twist the knife a little bit. Um, but then we don't have a huge amount of tech either, so yeah, we'll be, we'll be fine. It's true. Uh, well, I mean, we can build one, actually. Uh, I think. Uh, what do we got? 60... 60 tech, 480 minerals, uh, supplies. We could build one. We then wouldn't be able to afford to put the Lazarus shield on it, but we, we could actually build a scarab. Yeah, the scarab was... I mean, then we'd, ha then we'd have to build the Gemini to go with it, which is the rocket thing. Um, the, What I find is the scarab is a great bullet magnet. That's That's what the scarab does. It does guard your people by being shot at because it's the easiest thing to hit. <laughs> but I'm worried about burning all my resources on that, so yeah. What other stuff can we build, actually? Ares Magazine, Odin... Okay, we haven't still... Oh yeah, we... Oh wait, hang on, I just had a thought. What was the Deceptor MG? New Jericho Gauss machine gun. Right, we could remove that because we've got the we've got the Jericho Gauss tech is already on the way, so we may as well remove that from the queue. Because that makes more sense, actually. Does that land radar have turn signals? <laughs> no, it doesn't. And sometimes it accidentally blows up my own uh bloody cover, which is can be a bit embarrassing. Right, okay. Uh, see, they survived. They were fine. Right, uh, so I guess possibly the next priority is going to open up another base, maybe? But we need to get everyone fixed first. Or well, mostly fixed, anyway. Why is my personnel flashing at me? Ooh, Snedrion. How good are tier 1 vehicles anyway? They've got a lot of hit points. Um, and if we put the Gemini launcher on it, we've got that silly rocket thing we had in the uh, tutorial. The one problem with that is that it doesn't have an awful lot of ammo. And it does then become a giant bullet magnet. Now, the upshot of it becoming a giant bullet magnet is... They're not shooting at your people. And I imagine the vehicle is easier to fix than the people are. Possibly. Um, so... I'm not sure, but to fully kit one out, we would have to burn, like, all of our resources to build it, and then put the turret thing on it. So, mm. Yeah, when something isn't. Exactly. <laughs> this isn't only hams. No, it's true. Uh, right, okay. The egalitarian, radically democratic, blah, 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 blah. Polyphonic tendency. Terraformers. Find a way of coexisting with a new ecosystem. That sounds like a terrible idea. Sinedrian was built on a dream. A world without hierarchies, without leaders, where human beings could embrace the potential of technology without its destructive side effects. The radicals of the old world had been proven right. The status quo could not sustain itself. But what now? What was the next step? Some argued for coexistence with the Pandoran ecosystem, hoping for a peaceful solution. Others advocated putting humanity before nature and claiming the planet for themselves. Trusting in the safety of their havens, the people of Sanhedrin argued about the best way forward, but the Pandora virus had little interest in their arguments, and its power was still growing.
I mean, that's like looking at anthrax and going, hey, I could coexist with that. <laughs> you know? The Pandora virus thing is not happy fun times. So, I don't know where they were going with that. Right, crew of Manticore 1 are fully healed. Uh... Oh, in fact, everyone's fully healed. Okay, so the annoying thing is now we have to make the decision on whether we bring... Comedy Axe Guy. Well, actually, what we could do... That's a good point. We got three... We got we to have a lopsided squad, whichever way we do it, because... We're, we're going to have multiples of something, at least. But I must admit, the assault... But we've got three assault classes. But the assault classes are very good. So, what? Two assault... Two heavies, sniper... Melee. I mean, that could work. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 1% of Sinistra will survive to coexist with Anthrax. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, we could try it. And then let's put... Do, 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 Manticore. So that's two assaults, two heavies, one melee, one sniper. That might work. Red chair is nature's antiviral. <laughs> Wait, where's... Oh! Oh! What the hell's this? Uh, recruits come from armed groups that have managed to survive on their own in the wilderness. Whilst most of them haven't undergone official military training, they can be valuable assets for the battle against Pandorans. Ah! Choose recruit... We can afford none of this because we only have 108 food. Condo Raider? Condo Raider? What the hell? Jump up and down one building level. The world is full of broken elevators, collapsed staircases, and the pros in this business don't use ladders. <laughs> That's quite funny. We can't afford any of these, but um, good to know. So we have, we just have random people that emerge from the populace. Okay, that's kind of cool. Didn't notice that. That's why it was flashing. It was telling me about the recruits and I utterly failed to notice. Right, okay. Let's put another save. Everything is awesome and I misspit that, but I'm going to leave it like that. There you go. Right, uh, so I suggest if we, like, mosey on towards the second base, because it said, you must need second base ASAP, and I'm like, uh, okay, game. So we can do explore, explore, second base. Let's let's try that. If nothing else crops up and kicks us in the shit, one of the two. Did not read that as condo radar. <laughs> yeah, that would be something very different. Also, we don't know what the eyeball is doing either. I'm slightly worried about the eyeball. Eyeball worries me. It is a Disciple of Anu uh, Haven, and they have a Berserker for hire, which we can't have because uh, we've already got one and they don't like us very much or something. I don't know. Okay, Tent City Exploration Site. The eyeball is searching for the run ring. <laughs> Believe it or not, you are not the first one to make a make a, a Sauron joke about that. <laughs> okay, a uh, huge gathering of tents and other temporary shelters. Our operatives sit down from this massive camp, totally abandoned. It's kind of aid base emitters by the Red Cross, the Red Crescent, or the United Nations. There's no one left alive. Search the encampment. Materials 200, food 75, soldiers lost 10 stamina. That's okay. Um, 10 stamina we could probably get back in a, in, a, in a fairly short amount of time, I think. Oh, or like no amount of time, which is even better. Right, what's next? Okay, we've got gauze technology on the way. That's good. Okay. Damn it. I know. 
Uh, okay, research labs under construction. Someone was, that I was reading somewhere and said that was a that was a good thing to have. Still have no idea how we how we break in new bits, but who knows? It's fucking intense. Hey, I got I got that reference. Oh, I just noticed something. It actually tells you. Oh, I can zoom in. Holy crap! It tells you what classification the the person for recruitment is. So that's sniper. That's melee. I I, I didn't notice that till literally just now. Right. So they say need new base. So we can activate the base. Fifty tech, three hundred. We can do that. No problem. Activate base. Phoenix storage one. Fabrication plant. Medical bay. Vehicle bay store. Okay, sure. Phoenix base activated. You bought an abandoned Phoenix base back online. Repair the damaged facilities to make it fully operational. Okay, so now we've got a home away from home, so that's good. Okay, medical bay is fucked. And also we got oh okay, we got lots of things to build here. Okay. Uh, 46, 12, we can afford that. 210, 60, getting a little bit more pricey now. Okay. It'll be the winter of your discount tent. <laughs> oh, boy. Could say lurking with intent. Um... Okay, so we're running a little low on yeah, it's a little low. Um what are my options here actually? What have we got here? Medical base, security station. Oh, provides attacks on this base? Oh, your bases can be attacked? I did not know that. Makes sense. Um Okay, the power generation here is actually better than our home base. That's kind of funny. Uh, right, what's our, what, what have we got? All right, research, sat oh, satellite uplink. What does that do? I can't remember what that does. It's probably important. <laughs> Scans an area around the base, locating sites of interest. Pandoran colonies attacking havens from within scanning range will be instantly detected. Uh, I'm gonna burn through all my mats if I'm not careful. Oh, training facility. Wait, that's a thing you can do? Shit, didn't notice that. Could have done with that in the first base. Oh, booger. Could have really done with that in the other base. We are running a little low on stuff. We are running a little low. Uh, Maybe we should just do that for now. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh... Oh, okay, so we've got a plot... Plot mission over there. What have we got going on on the other side? Not much. In fact, did it say something about establishing a base near uh, the mist areas or something. Also, there are a couple of scanny places in the mist, which worries me a little bit. Satellite scans. Oh, Pandorans. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, maybe we should put a satellite link in there. Hmm. Are we going to be drastically short of resources if we do that? 250. We're going to be a little bit low on resources if we did that. But I wonder if that's a good idea. And also that means if there's any havens that get attacked, we'll know about it. Uh, let's go for it. Let's do it. Low, but not bugged. Right, okay. Um, what next? I just keep heading in this direction, I think. Because that's exploration site. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I mean, we may as well just keep heading in that direction. Okay, that's another uh, 
uh, yeah, now this is the thing. This is what I'm thinking. Because look, because you see the green thing around Phoenix 1? Anything that happens here, we'll know about it. Whereas here, we haven't got a fucking clue. So I think building the satellite thing was a good shout. Because that'll, that'll tip us off. Uh, let's go this way. Oh! Yes! We have the ghost technology. Oh, hello. Hello. Can we afford to build any of these? Probably not. Um... Uh, so we got uh, New Jericho Ghost Rifle, Sniper Rifle, Ghost Machine. Yeah, this is where I stopped the retro the retro fit thing because um, I knew we'd get that. Okay, that's great. Unfortunately, I haven't. I can't build a factory there. So if we wanted to get all the cool shit, which we probably can't afford to build, we'd have to fly all the way back there and get it. So we'll just probably have to hump along with what we've got for now. Uh, until we've got some more resources. What's this diplomacy? Oh, hello. Oh! Oh! I didn't even know this was a thing. We actually have bonus objectives here. New Jericho. Sabotage Disciples of Anu Haven. Target Training Center. Ah! Interesting. Uh, obviously, St. Adrian don't give a shit about us because we didn't give a shit about them. Oh, wait, I can manufacture things here. Gah. Sorry, there was a bloody gnat just flew in my face. I was attempting to kill it. Um, Right, what have we got? Uh, okay, cycle. Ooh, a hundred and... Okay, we're, we're not going to be building those anytime soon because... They cost a lot. <laughs> and then you got to have the ammo. And yeah. Well, I mean, we've already got the gorse, uh, the regular gorse rifles, but that's good. We've got that in the back pocket anyway. That's good to know. Okay, that's another um, Anu Haven. Anu Haven for Anu. Abandoned military base. No hostile forces have been detected, but there are probably some resources we can find here. Sure. Tech 15, materials 375. Okay, now we might actually be able to build some very, very choice... St well, we might be able to build a sniper rifle. <laughs> I think that's actually all... That's literally all we could build. Uh, where is it? Um, can you, like, filter by... Oh, you can do it by class, but you can't do it by faction. Okay, that's fine. So the Deceptor Machine Gun. New Jericho Gorse Machine Gun. Shred 2. Effective range 14. That is not very far. Especially compared to the... to the... the other auto cannons, but I guess... Interesting. Might be worth it for the sniper rifle. Cause that would give a lot of that would give us quite that would give the sniper a, a good solid punch. Um Or oh, maybe both. That is very short range. That would be pretty good for the guy that has return fire though, because honestly, those those cannons, the the the, the big like one shot cannons, I don't think they're that great. Um, yeah, I think we can afford this actually. Let's stick a couple of magazines in there. Um, and then that, and then okay, uh. That'll probably do. But now, of course, the question becomes, where are those? Are they here? Or are they back at Phoenix 1 because we don't have a manufacture site here? They're back at Phoenix 1 because... No, wait, hang on. Uh, 
Oh, we haven't built them yet. <laughs> We've only built the ammo. Actually, wait, no, that'll tell me because it'll it'll show me if the ammo is here. Um. Okay, the ammo's here. Oh, interesting. So that can be anywhere you can do that. That's weird. Okay, that works. That works for me. I am heavy weapons operative, and this is my weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, most people think they are smarter than me. It's true. But most people cannot outsmart bullet. Um, okay. Uh, let's crack on. Uh, that's a Sinedrian, uh, base. Okay, cool. I'm just thinking, obviously, we manu we're manufacturing stuff back at Phoenix Base. How is it appearing in our, in our inventory? And I don't mind if it magically teleports, to be honest. I'm okay with it. I've been ambushed. Threat level medium. Survive three turns. Okay. This should be fun. Hopefully. I'm slightly worried it hesitated when it was loading. I hope that doesn't mean there's like 50 million bad guys. Right, we have to survive three turns. That's interesting. Ambush mission. Okay. Oh, you must survive three turns before the evacuation zone is revealed. It could be anywhere. So try and keep your squad together in a central location if possible. Okay. You're facing a gang called the Acid Rascals. Their leader is Shawalter. Shawalter? Using the tactic Experimental Drugs. All lowest tier friendlies gain Chen Regeneration. Okay, these are axe guys. We need to kill these guys very quickly. Or meet them in the middle with our own axe guys. Um, that, that too could be an option. Um, fuck. Right, did they come in behind us? There's a guy behind us. That's great. Um, trying to think where a good defensive position would be here. Um, because they're just going to come running at us like fucking maniacs. There's a guy round there. Okay, I think we need Overwatch here. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Horrible! Okay, um... So... Are these guys both axe-wielding loonies? I think I might both be axe-wielding loonies. Padded t-shirt. Oh, okay. No, he's a heavy. No, hang on. No, he's got an axe as well. What if I could shoot the axe out of his hand? That would be quite funny. Okay, the guy on the ground might actually be able to get us. Uh, which would suck. That's the boss. I'm tempted to shoot at him just on general principles. Oh, okay. Let's come back to that. Um... Oh, man. Okay, so we're not going to get a good line of sight on this other guy. Where are our new ghost rifley people? Uh, Kareet... No, it wasn't Kareet and Bob. It was... Oh, no! Did I leave the other good... I left the other good ghost rifle with uh, the other guy. Shit. So, I could have had more firepower than I actually do have, which is a little bit galling, but never mind. Okay, I'm gonna back up a bit here, because... That may well be in melee range. Um, but then... I could go over here and shoot that guy. Which is fairly high-end map. <laughs> yeah, maybe you had a calculator. Yeah. Oh, oh, we have grenades. I forgot about that. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's let's test a theory here. 
don't think that'll break the roof. And also, I think the gun will do more damage at this point. Um, where's a good spot that I can be further enough away and still be able to see some of them? Nowhere, apparently. None of these squares... Oh. Okay. But then we've got this cheeky fucker down the back here that I don't want to get bodied by. Oh, balls. Wait, I thought I found a, a hex where I could see both of them earlier, a second ago. Now I fucking can't. That's weird. Oh, was that the, that the sniper? I think that was a sniper. Okay, I'm gonna... No, that's gonna put me right in front of the sniper. That's a terrible idea. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh, she's using the grenade, fucking idiot. It was showing that it was showing the whole thing with the grenade, of course it was. Oh, hard derp. Ooh. Okay, that still might miss, because that's actually quite a distance. But if it does hit him, he won't be feeling very happy about it. Oh wait, hang on, how much she got left? Three. If I did wait, hold on, I can do uh quick aim, which will make it worse. Um, which probably means that's definitely gonna miss. Okay, winged it. Wing oh her, in fact, by the sound of it. And I could actually do that again if I wanted to, or I can go into Overwatch. I think I'll just do that again. Okay, they're very not well. And I can also move backwards again. Which seems a good idea. Okay, that works. Um, Green Bob, unfortunately, has the crap. Right, we're not going to get shot at from this direction, so that's fine. We are going to get shot at from this direction. So let's do something like that. And I hope that guy is dumb enough to come around the corner. Now, if I can time this right, I can counter their axe guy with my axe guy. But the trouble is, I've got to time it right. Oh, also, there's some loot over there. Go over there and get the loot axe guy. <laughs> Alternatively, we can use the axe guy to hoover up loot. Um, oh, what's this? Cyclops SR7 magazine. Uragan MG. Oh, resources. Yes, get the get the get the resources. Yes. Uh, yeah, get the get the sniper stuff too. Uh, that I'm not too bothered about. Med kits for everyone. Yeah, that is literally all the med kits in the world. Uh, yeah, sure, that'll do. Nice. Um, and then in fact, you could actually run backwards a little bit. Here comes the phoenix. Here comes the phoenix, he says, being a right old Sinedrian bloke. Right, this is the silly candy gun. The likelihood of me hitting anything at that range is absolutely minimal. Um, We also know if he jumps over there and hunkers down, he'll probably get cut in half by this guy with the axe. So what I'm tempted to do is actually yeet him over here and hunker down there and hope the other guy shoots at him. I think I need to look at these guys less as damage dealers and more as tanks. Because that seems to be how they roll. Right, he's got the candy gun, so that's good. Minimal, but not zero. It's true. Right. This also is... That's not terrible, and if it lands, they are probably dead. But that is probably a, that is probably a coin toss. Um. Hmm. An Overwatch with these guys, I never feel is worth it. Can we? Yeah. I tell you what. What's that going to cost? Three, and then we can... Okay, we can shoot and back up a couple of squares. So let's do that. Let's try it. Not a single one. Which is kind of what I was expecting. Okay. Right, so this leaves us with uh, Bamboozle. 
who should be a very good shot, and do terrible things to this guy. In fact, what we can do is armor break, which is yelling at the gun. And that's a solid hit. And for two pins, we could switch over to the pistol and do that again and miss entirely, but that's okay. Right, I mean, I think that's about as good as we're going to get. We might get take some damage from this guy, but these guys are mostly neutralized, so let's give that a go. I didn't realize there was a window there. That was not expected. Oh, he's got a grenade! I did not notice the grenade. Oh my god. Failed to notice a grenade. Shit. That was bad. Uh, also, I could have sworn somebody else turned up, because now we've got three contacts, and I don't know where the third one is. Okay, they're up north. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that didn't... That really didn't... That did not go quite as expected. I did not notice they had a grenade. Okay, then. They are very well protected there. Um, who's the guy that's good with grenades? Is it Cretan Bob? I think it's Cretan Bob. Might be worth lobbing one there, just to make sure that... Oh, they go. I mean, that's gonna hurt. I don't know if that's gonna ruin the cover. Or... Let's see what happens. That's a long throw, actually. Okay, bugger is Varangian battle axe. Um, that's twenty bleed, and he's only got ten hit. I didn't notice that if you hover the mouse over. No, hang on, let's do the maths here. He can regenerate ten. He's bleeding twenty, and he's only got ten left. He's dead. Okay, that's handled. Right. Uh, Omar can only see him, which is annoying as hell. Wait, Omar, did you suddenly, did you suddenly speed up, my dude? Why are you this why are you this fast all of a sudden? Huh? Wait. That only costs two action points to shoot now? When did this happen? Oh, it's because he hunkered down? Right! I am not figuring out how these guys work so if they have a single point left you need to use hunker down if you've got the willpower which he's running out of because that means he can actually move a hell of a lot further okay so i mean he could well he could stand here stick his gun through the door and tell that guy off that might be a good idea though at that range you'll probably still miss Let's do that. Okay. So, we have another mad bastard up there, but that's fine. We have our own mad bastard. Um, who I really probably should be should be using better uh, better use of. Um Let's get him over here just to the strange chance that this guy's still alive. Right, okay. Um, can't see him there. Uh, oh, Kareep and Bob can't... Oh, you're not going to be able to see a damn thing, are you? Uh, that's going to leave him with one action point. I could move here. Use that, and then actually have Overwatch. Let's do that. Boop. Okay. If you're leaving scorch marks, you need a bigger gun. Yeah. 
okay, this person shouldn't be able to do anything much, one hopes. Um, Not really much we can do. It's like I said, there's not an awful lot I can do with this guy again. Oh, he's got the... Uh, Oh, he's got the really good takedown. Oh, I should have remembered that. I forgot about that. So that's one action point. Unfortunately, that takes three. That's... Should have noticed that one earlier. That would have been a... If we could have possibly got that guy out in the open. But never mind. Yeah, what all my dudes do again? Yes, yeah, exactly what's happening. Yeah. Um, I am a little bit worried about this guy because I know they are very fast. Just in case they're faster than I possibly could com comprehend, I'm going to point someone in that direction. Right. Um. Let's put... Can we go... Okay, we can't do there. Let's go there. Overwatch only costs one, just in case this person sticks their nose out, though I don't think this is going to work either. I'm on Overwatch. Right, what's left? Uh... I wonder if he could... If he's on the roof, could he drop down? I don't know. I need to I need to get into the whole melee aspect with these guys as well. I mean, you could spook this guy by like jumping over here and going behind him, and then he'd be like, "Ah, what's going on?" And I'm like, "Nothing," because I haven't got the AP left to shoot, so I'm just gonna stand by. Which could mean he might run over here and shoot the crap out of him and not trigger any Overwatch, which would be very annoying. Okay, let's let's see if this is He died. That's good. You sir have made a mistake. He missed, naturally. I honestly think those one shot cannons are bloody shit. Oh Head disabled? Damn! Jesus Christ, it's just while she's the medic. Fucking hellfire. I, I have a weird theory. It is a bit of a weird theory. I sometimes wonder if hiding in cover is actually worse for you. I know that sounds a bit crazy. Because if her head is the only thing sticking out of cover, does that not, by definition, make it more likely she's going to get shot in the head? You know what I mean? Meanwhile, I think we can one-shot this guy with the uh, our, our very own axe person. I'm an axe man! One-shot, one kill. The science tracks. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Meanwhile, poor Cavi Point Man is going, fucking hell, I jetpacked all the way over here, and now I've got to run all the way back again, because Jesus Christ. Right, so we know there is a, an axe person out here somewhere, which I am slightly concerned about now. We still don't know... Oh, wait, is that... I thought they were dead. Are they not dead? Why is that still showing up as a... contact? That's... interesting. They are dead. Okay, it's just being weird. Okay, good to know. No, 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 no they're dead, they're dead, dead. They feared the axe man, yeah. It says there's there's more oh okay there's more resources to 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 grab but I'm worried about that axe guy seriously if he like Kool-Aid mans through here and absolutely ruins us I'm going to be a bit 
upset. What I think is these one-shot cannons are not worth anything. They are, like, stupidly inaccurate. I, I feel they are not worth it. I think I'm going to swap them back out again. What about the men of iron? <laughs> or we could be extra super cheeky and use the jump packs and go retrieve stuff. That would make sense. Actually, wait, you can probably run just as far without using the jump pack. Yeah, you could. Right, okay. Also, if there happens to be someone lurking at R6, you'd also spot them. Which there isn't, so that's handy. Um, How much willpower you've got? Oh, you've had a reduction in willpower because you got shot in the head. Makes sense. I'd probably be feeling a bit unwillpowered. Right, where is this guy? He's got to be close. Oh, I said he was close! Okay, uh, <laughs> that's fucking irritating. Because if we don't kill him now, um, that's going to be very bad. Um, okay, it's going to take world three. Let's go, let's go grab it. Oh, that's the evac zone. Okay, okay. We found the evac zone. Uh, so let's get, what we got here? Sneedron Neural Pistol, uh, Iron Fury, Nurgle's Wrath Magazine, Disciples of Anu Hand Cannon. Ooh, okay. Time for a Mega Overwatch combo. I think probably a walk backwards as far as we can while still being able to Overwatch combo is probably happening, yes. Uh, he needs to hunker down just in case something turns up where he is. Okay, so we need to have open lines of sight, but also move at the same time. Okay, so let's go something like this. Someone's going to get the axe. You know someone's going to get the axe. It's going to happen. I got this covered. Um... Our axe guy will keep relatively close. I spelled... Yeah, 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 yeah. Legally distinct Nurgle. Yes, that's exactly... That's exactly what it was. Nurgle. Yes. Not the other one. Heading out. Right, we're going to set up Overwatch here, which I feel might not do anything either. Uh... Bamboozle, I think we're just going to double run because I think that's a good idea. Now, honestly, do we bother fucking overwatching with this guy because it's not going to bloody work, is it? The love child of Nurgle and Al Bundy, yeah. Right, we have an ad running, so I'm going to wait until that is done and then uh, we'll tick the things over and go from there. We've got four out of the six packs, and we're we're withdrawing. I think this is this is okay, providing this lunatic doesn't get us. I think he still might have the movement to do it. You know, I think someone's going to get chopped, <coughs> which I'm not happy about. But then we could counter chop him with our own choppy guy, and then it's just a big chop fest. But yeah, I swear to God, whenever any of my guys kneels behind cover, would you think this would be a good idea? Obviously, the only thing that's showing is the head. And then if any enemy fire comes in and hits the head, it's actually worse. Whereas if they just stood out in the open, would it not deviate? I don't know. That seems a bit of a weird one to me. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Yep. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Solid. Wow. Solid hit. Miss. He fucking hit him. What the fuck? That 
that's that was statistically unlikely, but I'm not complaining about it. Would it make your guys deviants? Uh, probably one or two of them. Yeah, sure. Right, we're just gonna fucking bean it for the exit. Because as far as I know, there's nobody over there. Leg it. So that highlights the uh, downfall of the axe-wielding lunatics. If your opponents know you're there and have adequate time to prepare, they're gonna fuck you up. That's that's why I think we've learned. Sprinting. Attack striking other body parts, hit cover instead. Maybe, but it just seems to be happening very often that I get shot in the head when I'm behind cover. And not when I'm standing out in the open, which is a bit weird. Oh, the reason that Overwatch shot landed is because uh, I wasn't using the one-shot cannon. Yeah. The one-shot cannon is stupidly good, but it just fucking... I think I need to change it. Right. Oh, wait, hang on. You've still got move left. You may as well keep going. Uh... We don't want to evacuate you just yet. Uh, hello? No, no baddies left? Doesn't look like it. Psycho dad, psycho dad. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Right, can we get away? Who's the person furthest away at the back? Okay, can you jump into the thing? Yes, you can. Not yet. Okay. Uh, about you. Ah, uh, you can't make it by one hex. That's fine. I I felt to notice that guy had a grenade. That was uh pretty that that's what caused us the most damage was that fucking grenade <laughs> mind you that guy hiding in the building did a pretty good number on us as well but it was mostly the grenade that is true high damage with zero hit rate is just zero damage with extra steps that is a hundred percent correct here yeah. right i think we're good i mean unless somebody like literally comes out Reposition. Like next to us, then we'll shoot them on general principles. But I don't think that's going to happen. Ready to okay, somebody appeared because. Okay, two people appeared because I can hear the voices. No idea where they are, and I'm not inclined to find out. <laughs> I mean, does evacuating take, oh, okay, evacuating takes zero points. Okay, who needs the XP out of everyone? I don't know, it's the sniper, let's do it. Tactical bandana, it's not gonna help. Oh, and then she left. <laughs> uh, right, is everyone else standing in the evac zone? Yes, excellent. So we can shoot this guy on the way out, just in general Take principles. Me. Well, okay, we can attempt to shoot this guy on the way out in general principles. Ah, that was pretty good. Okay, all right. So actually, disabling body parts is, is actually easier than it looks, apparently, because I, I fucked up his torso bit. That makes sense. Disabled torso? Uh, good question. I know disabled head... Uh, does willpower and stuff, but I couldn't actually tell you. Yeah, those, those, those gorse guns are pretty good. It's like we could leave, we're just shooting you on general principles. Ow! Ow, he said. No, he's dead. 
And then we left. Woo! Spicy! It's just a torso with arms and legs running around. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure quite how it does what it does, to be honest. Okay, that's good. We've got a couple of levels up. So, level ups out of that. That's not too bad. I love how we get, like, uh, extra points for surviving. <laughs> oh, stops use of armor abilities. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, Amber survived. Okay, we got... Uh, oh, they... Oh, okay. They gathered the magazines for us anyway. Okay, that's fine. 200 and 200. That's nice. That's welcome. Uh, replace the grenade. Right. Uh, now we're a bit fucked. Uh, so we're probably going to have to go back to our other base to heal up because we're all a little bit buggered now. Yeah, the Jericho stuff does seem to hit pretty hard, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to fly back to Phoenix 2, I think. In order to heal up. Yeah, let's do that. Which is annoying. But I kind of think we have to. Okay, what do we got? Um... Sniper rifle proficiency for a heavy. I mean, that's just weird. Okay, while we're here, oh, we don't have a, we don't have a. Yeah, these these cannons are gr like stupidly powerful. They just don't hit anything. Uh, how are we all manufacturing the new stuff? Okay, the NG's nearly up. I'm tempted to give that a go, actually. So if we waited a little bit, um, we could equip him with that. But wait, hang on a minute. Uh, what else we got? So he is heavy. So he could be a heavy sniper. Or uh, again, if he goes heavy sniper, he still won't have the sniper rifle proficiency, which is just weird. Um... Assault might not be a bad idea, actually. Can we do that? Yeah, assault training. What does that give us? Quick aim! Now that could be really good for a heavy, because it makes... That means he can fire twice. No, that's a big fat lie. He could fire once and do something else. I think. Oh, he's got no SP. Okay, never mind. He can do none of these things, but okay. Um. Okay, interesting. Yeah, some of these synergies, I've I've got to, I've got to discover the synergies at some point. Right, and our lunatic. Okay, what's he got? He has dash, and he can consume mist. Okay, I feel this guy is probably going to be super effective against Pandorans, so I'm definitely, I think I'm going to take both of those, to be honest. Hell 2 cannons as wall busters. That's a good point. I don't know if it stops when it hits something or it keeps going. I don't actually know on that front. It does actually, it does wreck, like, the, the the cover, but I don't know. Yeah, not sure about that one actually. Right, anything that adds mobility to him is is great. Actually, I just had a crazy idea. How slow would he go if I put him in the heavy armor? Just just wondering. Twelve. Okay, that's not very fast. How does that stack up with snipes? Fourteen. That's fourteen. Okay, it's not fair to compare him to the assault people because they go very fast. I feel that might not be such a great idea. 
I mean, unless we could mix and match. No one said we could mix and we can't mix and match. Uh, I mean, should we though? What the hell is this Anu stuff anyway? Disciples of a wait, wait, hang on. Uh, I could give him the priest armor. Wait, what does the priest armor do? Judgment head. Willpower plus eight. Willpower plus eight. Holy shit. Hang on. Oh, wait, hang on. This is... I have not... Oh, okay, so that doesn't give him the... Wait, 14... 1420. Wait, what? I think that gives him way more armor. Instill Frenzy. Instills Frenzy in friendly characters within 20 tiles for the two turns, making this, increasing their speed by 33%, making them immune to panic. Armor 15, armor 16. Accuracy plus and accuracy plus. I mean, now he looks like a fucking Aztec Ninja Turtle, so I guess that's an improvement. <laughs> Uh, interesting. A corn berserker and lizard med armor. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. So now we can reverse engineer the stuff he's not wearing now, but I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Right, let's get everyone healed up. I can't unsee that now. Yeah, I know. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Right, let's uh, let's heal up a bit. Oh, uh, new Jericho aircraft technology. New Jericho Thunderbird, third generation quadrotor VTOL. Reinforced external armor. Seven people. That's one more than the other one can do. Ooh. Let's have a look there. Uh, ah, insufficient resources, oddly enough. Right, capacity 3, speed 380, range 3000, durability 1000, versus... Okay, is that a little slower? It's slower, but it's got more range. Interesting. We can't build the damn thing, so uh, never mind. Yeah, it's more rugged. But we haven't had an air battle yet. Because I think air battles are a thing with the uh, uh, DLC. Yeah, I'm going to leave all these because we've got enough going on with the uh, rest of it. Yeah, is it... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Is it Tainted Skies or something? Um, yeah, there was quite a few DLCs that... Some of the DLCs didn't quite hit how people intended, thought they would. And apparently this, this mod... Uh, reworks all the DLC as well, so that'll be interesting to see. Pandoran Intelligence Report, one of three. Haven reports and scientific observations have identified new Pandoran mutations. Following analysis is available. Arthron Brute, Arthron Gunner. Oh, they have guns now. Arthron Brute. Evolved for close combat. Oh, great. An organic shield and the ability to spit poison at medium range. The specimen is shown to exhibit increased aggression. Great. Movement 23. Fuck. Arthron Gunner. First type of Arthron that is adapted to the use of firearms. They transferred old human weapons and incorporate them into their bodies. Great. Good craps with guns. Yeah. Pandoran Colonies, Diplomacy, Diplomacy, Evolution, and Void Omens. In uh, Terror from the Void, factions will not react negatively to revealed Pandoran Colonies if you fail to destroy them. However, you will suffer a small penalty with the leaders of the nearby Havens. Each Pandoran Colony contributes to Pandoran Evolution. The more active Pandoran Colonies there are, the faster the enemy will field more advanced units, the faster the Oneric Delirium will grow. In addition, destroying a more advanced Pandoran colony removes the earliest Void Omen currently in play. On rookie difficulty, destroying nests also removes Void Omens. 
I don't know what any of that means, but okay. <sighs> um, sure. And we still don't know what the giant fucking eyeball does either, which worries me. We were on our way to there, but we got absolutely wrecked. So now we're chilling. Wait, hold on. Uh, who's this? Why is their stamina not increasing? Oh, it's because they have to get their hit points all the way back up again. Oh, son of a bitch. Is the eyeball a void omen? Uh, not sure. Could be. Oh, hello. Who are they under attack from? Pandorans! I'm slightly concerned that this assault is not regenerating stamina for some reason. Oh, they are. It's just taking forever. Ugh. I might have to leave them behind. Shit. Um... Okay. 18 versus 10. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Wait, that's a good point. How is our person that we left in... F oh, okay. Right, what we could do... We could go back to Phoenix 1, swap out our injured person for another person, and then go and help the... New Jerkins, maybe? God, they were so right, it's kind of like, or do I ignore that and carry on with the main main plot? Uh, how'd the thing with Subject 24 go? Uh, we won! Pissed off New Jericho a bit, but we've got uh, cybernetics in the research queue, uh, currently. Uh, so that's a win. Also, I have a funny feeling. Did we make the new and interesting machine gun. Oh, we did. Okay. So we can use that as well. So that's cool. Uh, I haven't got a sniper rifle yet, I don't think. Eek. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do uh, next time. We'll, we'll swoop over here. Grab. Um, swap out. And then go see if we can help the Pandora. Uh, the, help the Pandorans. Yes, we'll help the Pandorans. Help Jericho, maybe. And then maybe I should start... I don't know. I think maybe we'll we'll go over here, do that, and then maybe start scanning down here and finding some of their colonies or something? I don't know. It's all kicking off! Anyway, I'm going to put a save in there. So many things. Oh, so man things. Oh, works. so many... No, space. I'm going to do that. So many things. Ah. And with that, we're going to bring things to... A halt. Um, so I, I haven't planned out next week. Um, what would you guys prefer to see more of? Would you guys prefer to see more of Phoenix Point? Or would you fancy a cheeky Ghost of Tsushima stream? Or more Phoenix Point? Because I could quite happily do a, like an entire week, mostly, well, mostly a week's worth of Phoenix Point. Um... But yeah, I'll have a think about that tomorrow. But uh, if people are more interested in this than uh, than Tsushima, that's fine. I might play some more Tsushima and just upload some more videos somewhere. Uh, just to keep my hand in. But uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Phoenix Point. Oh, that's that's two for Phoenix Point and one one for uh, down the middle. Uh, okay, all right. I shall I shall ha I shall give that some thought. All right. Let's uh, make sure that's actually saved, which I'm sure it did. So many things. There we go, it did. Delight delightfully struggling with this. It's I like it, honestly. It, it's I am I am feeling like I'm on the uh teetering edge of it all going completely fucking wrong. Uh but 
I, in a good way, you know? <laughs> so thank you all very much for being part of the stream. Uh, I have some thank yous to do. All Prozac, thank you for the follow. Thank you, Major Moza, for the sub. Thank you, Mechgato, for the cheers as well. Um, yeah, so we're going to be back on Monday, possibly with some more Phoenix Point, because uh, everyone seems to be enjoying it. But um, we'll see. I might, I might, I may see if I can maybe wedge a, a, a cheeky sushi stream in at some point. See how my, see how my brain works. See how it goes. Um, and yes, as always, you can find all my assorted links here, um, including my Discord, which is always the best way of uh, being alerted when I go live because all the other notifications tend to go do lally. But there we go. Um, I'm also doing a fundraiser for Stack Up. Please go and check them out. Um, yes, and I'll be back next week. So do hang on. We're going to go and read somebody. Let's go see what's going on, on Twitch. But uh, yeah, oh my god, that was uh, that was a lot going on with that. It's good fun, though. Um, who's doing what? Um, I tell you what, somebody we have not raided in ages, because usually the, the things don't always light up. We're going to go raid uh, Maria Miran, who some of you may know uh, started out as Thrash Driveshaft, but changed her uh, name to actually line up with her uh, YouTube stuff, um, which I think was a good idea. Uh, but she is a lovely person. She is doing some Micware 5 mercenaries right now. So, please be kind when you raid. Take care of yourselves in the meantime. And I shall catch you later. Bye-bye.